Yeah, whoa, how are you doing, bro? Are you well today? Have you asked, sir? Um, yeah, it's, I didn't realise that. It's apparently my <laughs> it's my affiliate anniversary today. I did not recall that. I always remembered um, <clears throat> the dates of my very first stream. So I remember my stream anniversary, but aff affiliate. I'm like, oh, what's the, I, I knew it was roughly around this time, but I don't know what date it was. Apparently, it's the fifth of December. Apparently that's the day. There we go. Good, good, good to know. <laughs> you didn't get are you wolf? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Um, again, this weird ass fucking sleep, bro. Um, but it, you know, I know you understand better than most people. Um, fucking weird dreams. I was traveling all over the world, and like not knowing where I was. I was on a fucking train. I was on a fucking boat. Uh, surrounded by people. All sorts of weirdness going on. Then I was out hunting. I wasn't hunting. I was just there. And thankfully, the hunters killed, you know, the the animals. So there's like fuck, some wild boars getting killed. That looked a bit aggro at me. But I was like, Ugh! and they killed them. And I was like, what, what? What's going on here? Then I was going to prison for for, for three months. Like 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 me. So when I heard about, it, I was like, fuck! I want to be able to stream for three months. What the fuck? And I was having all sorts of weird... <laughs> I don't know. I, don't... <laughs> I was having all sorts of weird... I was like, what am I doing in prison? I wasn't... So I wasn't, um... Like, uh, intimidated. Because <clears throat> for a short time, and like, first offence and... You know, British prison, I imagine, is like, kind of less... Like, gang rapey than <laughs> American prison. Or I've heard uh, South African prisons are even the worst. Um, and, and various other... Pl yeah. There's certain places in, um, you know, Asia and, you know, you don't want to go to a certain place in the world. You know, no one else goes to prison anywhere. But if you're going to prison somewhere, it might as well be the UK. This is what I've been led to believe. Uh, but I don't know what I did. I don't. But it, like for uh, while I was thinking, I was like, fuck, I, this is not so much of a big deal. It's just kind of going to fuck with the <laughs> with the with the uh, uh, with the um, with the Isnib show. That was my main concern. <laughs> I was, what even? I don't know. I don't know. But, um... You don't, no, you don't remember committing the crime or, um... Being arrested. Or even even on trial. I was just... I was, like, suddenly the realisation. Fuck! I've got to go... I've got to go to, away into prison for, uh, <laughs> Three months in a few days. God damn it. I was, like, thinking, like, who do I need to message? Let know what's going on and... What the fuck? Weird. I don't know, but <laughs> thank he just he just ease up, you know. I, yeah, I, it, didn't, it didn't wake me up. I've only ever woken up. Um, I, well, not necessarily just woken up randomly, but uh, one time uh, many many years ago, uh, in my dream, the family cat came run, running into the uh, the living room while we were all sat there, and it was on fire. The cat was on fire. Um, like, so it came right around in like a ball of fire, like, Rah! and I was like, Rah! In, in the dream, I was like, Rah! and I did that in real life. And the sound of me vocalizing that in real life woke me up. <laughs> I was like, the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah, I d yeah, <laughs> what, what even is that? Uh, I don't know, it was, it's weird. So, for a few seconds, I'm just like completely in shock, but then I'm just like. What the fuck? Weird. Yeah, the, dreams are fascinating, but also I wish they weren't, like, forced on you. Right? <laughs> if you could just be like, oh, tonight I would like to dream or not dream. I, I, here's the thing. However interesting and weird and overwhelming um, they, they are when you're in them, I would, you know, if I could just trade them in for just having a, some decent fucking re you know restful sleep i would i would do it I, you know <clears throat> oh shit <laughs> fuck yeah yeah you can do shit like that oh my god yeah i've uh i've uh had to uh, yeah, sometimes i've had dreams where i'm like desperate for a piss and I'm like, in, in the dream, I'm just running around. Or even I'm actually just peeing. And it's just like never ending. And then I wake up and I'm like, 
thankfully I haven't pissed my, the bed, but I'm like, oh fuck, <laughs> that that was happening in the dreams because I need to, I need to go take care of something. But yeah, that's fucked. Hey, just wake up with, with a broken toe. Fucking hell, the pressure as well. He must have. Been. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's all on you. Don't fuck it up. And he's like, Ugh. yeah, I can. That's hilarious. I mean, it was not. I'm sure it wasn't. I'm sure he laughs about it after the fact, but fucking hell. But anyway, um, I'm glad to. Uh, I'm glad you're doing all right, dude. Um, I don't have too much to say. Yeah, the I don't know. I've been progressively <sighs> oversleeping recently, and then like again, I've I, I guess like after two, and I'm just finishing my first coffee, and I'm like, well, I'm already. I haven't had a shower yet, let alone second coffee, and. I haven't had second coffee, let alone in the shower yet, and it's already after my presumed start time. I'm like, this is fucking stupid. So I'm, I think I'm, it seems like I'm developing a new habit where you know, I don't want this to be start time, but this may be where we're at for the little bit. Who knows? Things things change over time. Um, you know, and I need to at least. I, I, silver lining of that is, uh, I've. Um, it seems like the habit is forming where. I'm just having that one cup of coffee before we start stream. And I'm starting stream with the second. Which is, you know, not going to... Uh, it's You're going to speed things up a little bit. It might, you know, might save like 15, 20 minutes. I mean, maybe that's... Maybe some people make a cup of coffee and they're just like... It's gone like two minutes later. They just chug it, but... Sometimes I'll make it and I'll put it there. And I'll even touch it for 10 minutes. I'll be like, oh, it's, it's, it's probably too hot now. Let me let me cool let me cool down for a minute, and then I think that like ten times, <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, it's, <laughs> I probably should start drinking this, right? Um, the worst, which I I do rarely, but I do do sometimes, very rarely. I'll make tea, and then I'll just forget about it, and then like an, an hour and two hours later, I'll go into the kitchen and, uh, and there's like a t you know two hour brewed cup of cold tea sat there i'm like hmm. yeah and then <laughs> that what one it's a waste two it's annoying it but it's also kind of like i'm I'm questioning myself like did i even really want a cup of tea if i forgot about it right am i just drinking it out of habit am i making it out of habit rather because if you actually wanted it i wouldn't have forgot about it right you don't forget when you're thirsty you don't forget when you need to pee <laughs> Right, unless you're asleep, but that's a <laughs> fucking hell, yeah. That's um, that's an interesting one. Yeah, I just wish um, wish dreams were optional. I wonder if there'll be technology in the future to, like, um, somehow control the dream state. Because you know it could be a fun activity, uh, or even like shared streamed activity. I don't know. Like, be like, oh, let's go into the dream world. Uh, some people believe that the dream world is at its own place that you go to, or and then other people f fully believe it. it's just the contents of your dreams are entirely encased within your own psyche. Um, I'm and I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, it seems I, th I think it on some level it's both, um, which I don't really fully understand when I say that, but. Yeah, Kuma. Yes, yeah, something like that. Yeah, if you you can control it, but like I say, if if that was an option, my option would be for now, no no dreams. Thank you very much. Just turn just turn it off. Just let me sleep, motherfucker. But you know, here we are. Hey, Dana Kuma, are you well today, buddy? I hope you are. Oh well, yeah. What's, what else is going on in the world? I don't know. It's the fifth of December. Fucking hell, it's creeping up. That that literally means it is less than three weeks to Chris, Christmas, Christmas Day, which um would be a Monday, so I would technically be scheduled to stream. Um. Uh. But I uh I don't doubt I'll be invited to my mother's on Christmas Day. Um. So by the time we've gone over there, eaten and chilled out or whatever we're doing, it's, it would be too late to start a stream anyway after that. So regardless of whatever else is happening, you know, three weeks yesterday, I will not be streaming because it's 
It's Christmas Day and there's just no time. Like, you know, maybe in the future. Now, I hope my uh, mother lives a, a very long time yet. But obviously, there's a future where she has shuffled off the mortal coil and I am still alive. Presumably. Presumably, I'll outlive her. Um, and then me and my brother won't really have anything to do on Christmas Day. Um, so I guess to me and him, it would just be like, oh, it'd just be like any other day. <clears throat> so maybe many, many years in the future, Christmas Day will just be like a normal stream day for the Snip Show. I don't know, but, um, uh, for now, for the foreseeable future, and hopefully the very long future, that will not be the case. Um, I guess I would be back, uh, on the, the day after. But yeah, I, I, um, a few things coming up that, uh, I have considered... Um, we'll see how this works out. I haven't fully made my mind up. One is the possibility of just taking a week off. Um, just to, like, recharge my batteries a little bit. I'll still be around. I'll still be on Discord if you anyone wants to, like, talk or get a hold of me or whatever. Um, but I, uh, I just won't, you know, take a week off of streaming. Um, would it be Christmas week? Would it be the week after Christmas day that week you know basically between Christmas and New Year it might make it might make sense to take that or maybe like for or maybe not I'll stream that week but maybe I'll take off the first week of January I don't know I don't know we'll see um I need to make a decision soon though don't I <laughs> other uh thing is the possibility of only streaming four days per week uh, going into the future um just to try and stand on top of my uh, physical fitness because uh it's okay at the moment but I, I feel i could do more and the only way i could necessarily do more um which I, I wouldn't feel too bad about just on the basis of that um uh yeah, apart from the thing it's fusion because he's just stubborn <laughs> and scotty uh because he's just you know he's a power unto himself um they're the only people signed up on the Patreon at the minute, so uh, without any benefits to them, they just wanted to do it. Uh, so it's not like I'm uh, wasting anybody's votes or anything like that, wasting anybody's time. Um, you know, they, they feel like, oh, I'm getting less than, I'm getting 20% less than what I've paid for it is. Because, you know, unless people are like subbed on Twitch, but I feel anyone who's subbed on Twitch, they're not, it's, you know, I, think, I feel like subbing on Twitch is more like a support thing, isn't it? Um, some people do it for the emotes. Some people do it for various other reasons. Um, but I think the main reason people sub is to, like, support the channel, support the streamer. No one's, like, that bothered about a sub badge. Nobody's that bothered about skipping ads. Like, for me, personally, obviously, I only play ads when nothing is going on anyway. Fuck those auto ads. I literally have got a uh, fucking Twitch. Uh, let's have a look what it says here. Come like this. On the home, on the creator dashboard, home uh, tab. Welcome, isn't it? Your last chance to unlock more revenue. The year is almost over, and so is your chance to unlock up to 156% more ad revenue compared to any other time of the year. Run ads and secure more revenue now. How about my viewers' uh, lack of seeing ads is more important than my revenue? Did you, did you stop to think about that, Twitch? Did you stop to think about that, Twitch? Now, maybe that's not what you want your streamers to do. You want your streamers to run 50%, you know, 500 ads per stream. Um, you, you know, you want uh, <laughs> it to be Twitch advertising rather than Twitch streaming. Um, but I don't want to do that. Now, all the time that I can put that off, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Yeah, sure, I'll run ads when I... Step out for a minute or three minutes midstream when nothing is going on. And I don't even expect you guys to watch those ads. You fucking walk away. Look at a different tab. Mute the tab. Do whatever you want. But it makes sense. Nothing's going on. I might as well get a couple of pennies. A couple of pennies. Because a couple of pennies each day, you know, might add up to... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I... Not not the not a new uh, console in two years, but <laughs> you see what I'm saying. I might as well. But um, have you ever been to people's streams who they just have the auto ads on? Now we've got friends who do. 
Cade's told me he does. And Slight of Game have told me they do. He does. Um, both of them do. They're the only people I've really spoken to about it. But what they do, they keep a very uh, precise uh, control over when they happen. So when they, when they, so they're scheduled, and then you have a, an ability to delay them for a few minutes, a couple of times. Um, so what? So what? Slight and Cage do. They keep an eye on it. They see it's coming up. Um, they delay it if they're in the middle of something, or if they're in the middle of saying or doing something in the game or whatever. And then they, when they, whenever it is convenient for them within that five ten minute window, they go, "Hey guys, just to let you know, we're running some ads now. I'll be back in two minutes, or whatever." The problem with that is they have to do that. I think it's even three minutes. They have to do that every single hour, on the hour. Um, so I don't like the idea of that. I, I, I don't, you know, and there's guys like, oh, well, you know, you got to, you know, I should get up and get a drink or pee or stretch or anything. And it's like, it feels to me, it feels like a waste of time. Um, uh, that's no judgment on anyone, but you've probably seen the streamers who they don't, they have the same setup, but they don't, um, they don't take the control. They just let it auto run. they just be mid conversation and an ad fucking pops up. Uh, they'll just be like, <laughs> anything or nothing could be going on and they'd you know and i've seen some literally just say i need to do this this is how this is how i make my money and they were talking about people who are far wealthier than me uh right now this is how i make my there has to be ads suck it up if you don't like it fucking sub you know it's it, it, to me it smacks of entitlement and I, I don't like it and i don't ever want to do that um if only for chewing gum i need <laughs> I actually, I've run out. I literally run out of chewing gum. I rarely have chewing gum, um, Akuma. I used to, I, I used to like it a lot um, when I was working. I um, I uh, yeah, I became a fan of it as a teenager when I kind of started smoking. So it's something to stuff in my gob when I couldn't smoke a cigarette. Um, I guess, and I just kind of got into the habit of it. Um. But uh, now I have no real need for it because I'm not smoking. I'm not even like, going out anyway. But some t sometimes, very occasionally, if I've eaten my dinner, I might have like crap stuck in my teeth. I think I've been boshing peanuts, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I, I, I want to like get something, some chewing gum in there to clear it out. So I do actually need to get some more because I literally finished off my last one. But you know, there's like little pots you can get. Like one of those will last me like a year at least. Um, yeah. But uh, oh, this is interesting. Uh, Red Mage shared uh, in the Discord uh, the trailer number one. I guess it's legit. Um, for uh, Grand Theft Auto 6. Yes, it has been over 10 years since Grand Theft Auto 5 released. When obviously, that game is still going strong in the capacity of its online gta online which i have never played i know nothing about uh i dipped my toe in it when the game was originally released but it was like it was in its um primordial state nowadays 10 years later i understand it's a fully fleshed out thing with all sorts of things to do um with matchmaking and you know various other random stuff not to mention of course you want a good time uh go and uh, go and check out the gta 5 rp streamers so these are the, these are guys who play uh you know on the it, the open world GTA 5 or on a particular server and it's all like um everybody's on mic uh, and it's all proximity chat and you know they all play a character <laughs> and you get all sorts of fucking weird interactions uh it's hilarious because people are like being improvising uh, on the fly to be humorous some people put on weird accents. Some people play a character. For a hot minute, I, I was like, thought, oh, fuck, could I do that? Uh, you know, <laughs> be some, like, full-on weird character uh, and, like, just go balls to the wall. Because I'm pretty good at being weird and uh, stuff on the fly um, and, and maintaining character. Um, you know... I, I thought for a minute, oh, I could do that. And I was thinking about, oh, what could the character be? Um, 
But I was, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's curious. Uh, do check it out, but... It's got, it was going to be some, like, old, uh, upper-class British guy. Um, uh, what's, oh, what's, what was the name I was going to call him? Um, uh, I can't remember. I had, like, a name. It's going to be something like, um... Barnabas Reginald Obadiah the 31st. And then be like, oh, look, look at you crazy Americans tearing around here. Uh, and, <laughs> and try and like put on an accent like that. And then like, I doubt there's anyone playing GTA 5 RP who's quite like me, if you see what I'm saying. But <laughs> I'd be able to um, get some weird stuff going on. Yeah, and people are into it. So, uh, and obviously, people are fucking hyped about GTA 6. They're like... People have wanted... I don't know if you guys, uh, Wolf and Akumi, are GTA fans. I grew up with it. Um, uh, and each each step of the way uh, of the GTA series has been like a revelation. Um, and GTA 5 really did hit a pinnacle when it was... I can't, it's really staggering to think that game was released t 10 years ago now. Uh... And it was um, not disappointing at all in any way. However, you know, people just want more, don't they? And people have been ravenous for any news of GTA 6 for the past um, 10 years. Uh, and apparently, yes, they have just released their first trailer of it. Teaser trailer, I guess. Uh, saying that GTA 6 will be released in 2025. So therefore, that means we have at least a minimum of one year. Probably, if they maintain that, a maximum of two years. You know, 2025, December 2025, right? You see what I'm saying? That's why they've not given a month. They just said 2025. Um, but yeah, uh, from what the... Uh, so yeah, if you've not seen that, go and watch it if you uh, are interested. But um, uh, the... Uh, the trailer it, it looks stunning and it looks far reaching so it's set in vice city which akuma has played uh because obviously gta f uh, 5 was set in uh the i believe in the equivalent of san andreas right it wasn't actually san andreas was it no i think it was i can't remember but yeah okay gta 3 yeah the ps2 ones the, tr the trilogy gta 3 vice city and san andreas all three of those games are, are kind of fantastic everything that came before gta 3 yeah, i mean it's not it's nice ideas but it, they're janky old 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 janky games it's so you don't you're not missing out on anything by not playing them um gta 4 is a mixed bag some people really didn't like gta 4 for various reasons i thought it was great um and it makes sense that it's set in uh vice city because it, um uh gta 3 was set in liberty city which is very loosely based on New York, um, which GTA 4 with a Nico Billick uh, was also set in Liberty City. Uh, uh, San Andreas is uh, kind of a you know fictionalized version of LA, which is um, also where GTA 5 is set, and then Vice City. Um, that game is like, I believe that game is like meant to be set in the 80s. Uh, but is, uh, is, is, yeah, set in Vice City, which is a fictionalized version of Miami. Um, uh, and, you know, so they all have that very distinct, uh, vibe from each other. Uh, and in some ways, I, I, for me, for that trilogy, Akuma, I think San Andreas is the best of those three games. Uh, mostly just because on the scope of it, the size of it. Um, you know, CJ was a cool character and all that. It's like just so much content and missions and stuff in it. Um, but for Vibe, I think you can make an argument that Vice City uh, might have been the best. Uh, but uh, so yeah, it's kind of exciting. Kind of exciting. Yeah, four is interesting. Yeah, a lot of people hated four for various reasons. I I liked it, but it wasn't like. It doesn't like stand out or anything. 
Um, so the fact that they're going back to Vice City, which presumably is now in the modern era and not in the 80s, uh, but the same city, it's, you know, it's got that Florida vibe. So in the trailer, you see, like, swamps uh, with, like, on the uh, airboats. There's, you see some alligators fighting people. You see an alligator walking into a convenience store. <laughs> uh, obviously, there's, uh, you, you see, um, like, uh, hints of a prison. You see, like, hints of special forces guys doing shit. Hints of crazy, crazy fucking rednecks of all kind of backgrounds doing all sorts of fucking wild, wild shit. Uh, <laughs> water sports. Boats, of course. You know, Miami, it's like right on the fucking ocean. There's all sorts of crazy shit like that. Um, uh, and the graphics look insane. The cutscenes particularly, but also just the, the standard gameplay. that they've. I mean, it's hard to say that they had standard gameplay in any of that trailer at all, necessarily. It might have all just been cutscenes. I don't know. Um, kind of kind of hard to tell. Um, but uh, it looks insane. Uh, and the potential for it is insane. Of course, I would... I mean... To GTA 3, San Andreas... Uh, sorry, Vo GTA 3, Vice City, San Andreas. GTA 4... Actually, did I get GTA... I don't think... I might have not got GTA 4 at release... Uh, but GTA 5, I got all those games on release day, basically, or all, cl all close to, because I was so fucking hyped about them, and I was not disappointed. So, uh, I, I'm quite, I would be quite excited to play GTA 6, um, but it's like, it's a, at least one, if not two years away, uh, and, uh, someone did mention also that, um, you know, it's, it would come to Xbox and PlayStation, PS5, and Xbox I don't even know what they're fucking calling it the Xbox now anymore. Um, but there was the uh, uh, the speculation that, it, at least initially, it would not be coming to PC. Um, not that my PC would handle it. Point being, if if on, on some uh, if on some in some reality, I would want to own GTA Six and play it at release whenever that may be. I would need one of the following. A new Xbox, a PS5, or a new PC. <laughs> now, I, I, so I'm wondering, can, is it possible for me to get either of those three things in the next two years? I don't know. Um, but it's neither here nor there. But <laughs> yeah, Police Academy Swamp Chasing, you, you're going to get so much craziness, Akuma, with it that setting it seems like so rich you know on the ocean with the swamps with the alligators with the, the the party town and the drugs and the wildness um i don't know it, it uh it's hard to tell from the cutscenes but it looks like the premise is uh two main characters who are the main main character is a woman and her boyfriend slash partner is the other main character uh that's the impression i got and it looks like she's just got out of prison or something and then they're like yes let's go do more criminal things because <laughs> i mean you have to do criminal things in gta that's that's going to be the main story um but yeah i mean you, you would not believe the i guess in later years i was just got a bit more mission and story focused but when uh when these games first came along when i was younger i would just go on like we we call it just go on a rampage which I'm sure there's rampage missions, but a non-rampage. <laughs> You'd be like, get all your weapons, get in like a nice car. Maybe it's your own car. Maybe you just stole a car from somebody. And then, yeah, just fucking around. Yes, exactly. And you'd be like, oh, let's race over here. Let's run these people over. Let's go to the police station and shoot a rocket through their front door. Let's, <laughs> let's climb up on top of this building and start just sniping people. You know, uh, you know just, do, just, go, just going wild. Just wiling out. Um, so, yeah, that, <laughs> obviously the better the games get, the, the more opportunities for wildness you could do, but yeah, the way that, um, GTA games have, um, they do their side content as well, it, it could be unbelievable, 
Aside from any like main quest of being a criminal, you could obviously have races, you know, car races, and you can have motorbike races, and you could have airboat races in the swamp, right? Then you could have like the uh, collection little doodads uh, to get various upgrades and stuff. You know, random hidden collectibles throughout the the entire world. Um, but yeah, they had like a, a, a little hunting thing in GTA Five as well. So with the you know going into the swamps and stuff uh that could you know that could be a whole thing but yeah i just think of the, the possibilities like you maybe could like capture an alligator and then just take it into the city and just like release it on the street <laughs> just just like the, the amount of random shit you could like <laughs> yeah wrestle alligators yeah, who knows who knows what could be going on i hope it's everything i hope they just they they real really think hard and about just Pack it the fuck out. Um, and uh, while while I kind of like uh, GTA Five a lot with the main characters in the story, it is also I feel like it's kind of played out. Like it might be better to get back to basics. Um, you know, if you look at if you're familiar with GTA Five, you've got um, the fucking um, I can't remember the what's it, what's his uh, what's the fella's name, um, the main character. Uh, not yeah trevor's the crazy guy um let me go main character yeah my, um, yeah michael michael is the uh the former bank robber guy um yeah uh franklin just uh up and coming like gangbanger guy but rather than being a gangbanger he's like joins michael and then you've got trevor the psychotic lunatic um I, I, one thing i felt about those three their dynamic it was it felt like a little played out like they're i i didn't care enough about what they were going on because they weren't very likable as characters um it was just like, oh, Trevor, he's a fucking psycho and he's going to do stuff. And it might be better to get back to basics. Um, so if you just got some random bad bitch who's just like, yeah, I'm just going to. I'm just taking over this town or whatever that uh, I like. I like that. The idea of that uh, a bit more. Get back to basics, but we shall see. Like I say, the fact that they say uh, 2025 as a release date. It's like, they, they left themselves some room, haven't they? Because they do, th I hope they release it and they go, look, Bethesda, this is how you fucking make a game, son. Sort, sort your fucking shit out. Um, so yeah, I would be super hype. And if there's ever any game that would be uh, encouraging me to buy a PS5 in the next two years, I, I imagine it would be that, really. Um, so we'll see. But anyway, enough about that. Uh, check it out at your leisure. Let's, um, I don't have too much to say, so I guess we'll get into Silent Hill. Um, so yes, we, uh, had our second, uh, well, we had, like, well, the first full stream, second stream of Silent Hill yesterday, Silent Hill 2, um, and we're, uh, we're close to the end, um, the whole thing, uh, is kind of, uh, breaking down, it's, um, obviously, um, James has gone there to meet his dead wife who wrote him a letter. Obviously, he's, he's well aware. He's like, my wife is dead. How did she write me a letter? Yet, yeah, but still, I have I feel compelled to go and investigate this. Um, we, uh, we've met a couple of other characters there. Angela, who has her own story of... That's kind of... I don't know. Yeah, I guess like the town... The idea is if you... If people have had extreme trauma in their lives... And have maybe some association to the town. It can like draw you there and trap you in its otherworldly darkness. Um, so it seems like Angela was uh, physically and sexually abused for many years by her own father when she was younger, and which culminated in her violently and savagely stabbing him to death before fleeing. And then she, that's how she's ended up here. Um, we kind of saved her from a, a monster version of her father yesterday. 
But she didn't seem very grateful. She was just like, oh, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> and we're like, okay. Um, Eddie. Eddie is just some random fat guy. Uh, <laughs> who seems slightly dumb. But it seems like he's a murderer in, in denial. You know, he, he has actually murdered people. Uh, but he's like, oh, no, they made me do it. And all this kind of shit. Um, so while he hasn't turned directly antagonistic towards James, he is unstable, to say the least. Um, we've also uh, met the little girl, Laura, who is here for unknown reasons. Well, not unknown reasons. She also got a letter from James's dead wife, Mary. And apparently claims that they were friends uh, a year ago. And then James was like, no, that you're a liar. You weren't friends with my wife one year ago. My wife died three years ago. Um, so what was going on there? Last check in with Laura. Laura tried to kill James. But James is still like, oh, I've still got to try and help her. <laughs> and I'm like, have, have you, bro? Are you sure about that? Um, <laughs> the other person who's the most mysterious and weird person, of course, is Maria. Maria is a more kind of... Well, we don't know what Mary was like. Um, Kissy Fur, how you doing there? Welcome in. Um, uh, did uh, Laura kill James? No, she uh, she tried to. She tried to. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't think. Laura, yeah, Laura didn't kill Maria. But uh, <laughs> hello there, Kissy Fur. Are you? Have you just found us today because you're uh, looking at just chatting? So um, are you? <laughs> did you? Did you see the title? And you know what I'm talking about. Red Mage, how you doing, buddy? So, um, no, uh, Laura tried to kill James, but uh, fa thankfully failed. Uh, a, a la shotgun, um, which is handy. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Maria, um, we, like I said, we don't know what Mary was like in real life, but Maria seems to be a more exuberant, slutty, version of uh mary and obviously it only exists because they look the same uh based on mary so it, uh, what seems to be the case is that maria isn't a real person in some weird way she's a figment of james's imagination um but we've seen her di die twice now or well, we've seen her die once and then um then we saw her alive again but then we, when we saw her a third time, she was she was dead again. So I don't know. Um, uh, <laughs> Kate Moss Teeth. Uh, it, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, so uh, Kate Moss Teeth. I, it, I don't know uh, what her teeth are like. Um, but I, my teeth are not very good. Uh. If, am I going to get her teeth? Her teeth are probably better than mine. Oh, they look a, bit, uh, look a bit bunched up. Yeah, I don't have... Uh, uh, wonky teeth icons. <laughs> Guardian articles come up. Yeah, my teeth are... Uh, they're, not, uh, they're not the best, for sure. Okay. But I'll take the compliment anyway. Um, hey, yeah, I've just I've just done a whole spiel on it, Red Mage. Sorry, I can't repeat myself just for you, sir. But yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I'm most excited the fact that you've um, that you've uh, volunteered to buy me a PS uh, Five in two years' time. Thank you, Red Mage. That's amazing. Um, well, thank you, thank you, Kissy Fur. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, I'll, t I'll take the compliment. Um, read back. Yeah, uh, yeah, I saw you. Yeah, is that random coincidence? You met? Do you prefer Mary or Kissy Fur? You are. I was joking. I was joking. Right. <laughs> um, Kissy. Okay, cool. But yeah, that's, that's curious. We were talking about Mary and Maria, and that is, and you're like, what the fuck? Are they what's going on here? Um. So, so what you so if it ties in, then Kissy, then uh, your mum is a more slutty version of you. Is that right? 
I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I... So, we're, yeah, we, we went through... And we're still there, kind of in limbo. We went into the Silent Hill Historical Society and descended down into a prison, into the depths, into a labyrinth, into in, into insanity. So we, I guess we keep going. Oh, it's the other way around. <laughs> You're a more slutty version of your mother. Okay, cool. That's that's. I, I feel that's the way it should be, right? I think that's the way it's supposed to be. Um. Uh, yeah, uh, Red Mage, you've already got PS5 there, haven't you, yourself? Anyway, point being, thank you for sharing that, Red Mage. Uh, yeah, it looks fucking amazing. It looks, if it, I would just said, if there was ever a game that would prompt me to get a next gen console, uh, it probably would be GTA 6. It looks, the, uh, in that short trailer, what they kind of present to you as the vibe of the game, the world, and the and the poten the potential possibilities they could leverage in that setting, and the graphics as well. Fuck me, sorry, I don't want to be um, banging on about. It. Yeah, they've just released the first teaser trailer, uh, Kissy of GTA Six, apparently due twenty twenty five, so probably December twenty twenty five. So. Um, uh, five, no, five was, uh, GTA five was 2013, I think. And GTA four was, I don't know, uh, 2006, 2007, all right. No, 2001, that would have been, uh, GTA three, I believe. Yeah, yeah, because that's the year that Silent Hill two was released. The same year, yeah, because I got my PS2 with Silent Hill two. Brother got his PS2 with GTA three. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. It's, people have been eagerly waiting this game for the past 10 years. So, and it looks fan bloody tastic. <clears throat> mm. Oh, I wish you'd not given into peer pressure there. <laughs> so some guy's like, here's the trailer. Look how shit the game looks. They should just left it. Um, I I think they will go and have a look, Kissy, when you get um opportunity. Just search the uh, GTA Six trailer. It's you know it's only a teaser trailer. Doesn't tell you much about the game. You know it's all kind of like cutscene graphics and stuff. I assume. Um, but it looks fan fucking tastic. Yeah, it looks like it will be. But yeah, I, I, who who knows? Who knows? Yeah, that's fair, Red Mage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because otherwise everyone's... Good. But then people would watch it after the fact anyway. I don't know. I think they'd be better to not give in to peer pressure, but... I, uh... I get it. I get it. They, they want to do what they want to do. they got to do what they got to do. Um... Get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. We shall see. Mm. Yeah, of course, Kissy. Of course, go go for it. Let me go ahead and um get us uh set off Silent Hill. So aside from answering uh Kissy's uh question, I don't know I have too much I need to uh ramble about today. <clears throat> signs from the afterlife um no not necessarily um i don't i i uh, i don't really have anyone who um that I was like super close to that has died essentially. Um, three of my four grandparents are ha are now dead. Um, one still uh, hanging tough. Um, 
but I was not. Um, I wasn't ever uh, specifically close to any of my grandparents. So um, yeah, yeah, I, I do regard myself lucky there. But yeah, some people have. Uh, I'm not against the idea of it. If you're if you're asking that, but I haven't actually experienced anything like that myself. I've definitely been to places where I felt like were fucking creepy, um, and had creepy experiences, but nothing. Um, not like put a thought or a question out into the void directed at a dead loved one and felt like i've got a response how old am i i am uh i am 39 right uh, apparently at the minute kissy i don't i still feel 19 but hmm yeah no i know of course I, of course i can imagine hmm yeah i red mage i suspect they've they've they very specifically said the year uh, so they all can fine tune it, unlike you know fucking B Bug Thesta, where they're like, "Here's our new game." You like, what is? Do you want to finish it before you release it? <laughs> um, you're an orphan, are you? Um, all oh, right, so, uh, an orphan. What about your? Uh, what about uh, Mary? So your adopted mother? And uh, just you still considered an orphan if you have adopted parents? I guess you are. If you were. Uh, yeah, originally. Um, but you are you familiar, Kissy, with uh, with Silent Hill at all? Oh, sorry, Maria. Yeah, yeah, you'll marry you. Yeah. Um, okay, so Maria was your adoptive mother. That's pretty freaking cool. People step up to do that. That's amazing. Oh, okay. All right, okay. <laughs> Sorry, when you say orphan, I think of a, ch a child without parents. Uh, does it, do you consider an orphan if you just if your parents are not alive? I don't know. I've never thought about this. It's it's a uh, it's not a, a word you hear often. No, I mean, yeah, the technical definition of an orphan is a... Uh, oh, no. He said a, ch a child whose parents have died. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not I'm not going to judge your uh, use of the word. Yeah. But, yeah, I wouldn't think... Yeah. Yeah, but you were... Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I would say at 37, you probably would... Yeah, you're not a child, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry you don't have your parents anymore. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, you just confused me for a second there. Um, but yes, so you, I guess the the uh, point of your question, uh, Kissy, was do you, you feel that your mother has... You put, you've had some afterlife contact or vibe since her uh, passing there we go i want to jump us over here now guys there we go at least at least this camera works right so we should be set to complete the game today i would imagine um and then we've got the bonus scenario after the fact which i don't remember at all but we shall see like i say i i roughly know what is uh going on in the game but obviously i don't want to um i don't want to uh, spoil it i don't know if anyone here necessarily knows or cares anyway but that's <laughs> you know me that's how i like to uh present things anyway yeah you love a red mage who doesn't like the ps2 i'll give it the greatest console ever made well, that's that's a whole that's a whole subject of debate. Mm. Yeah. So the one of the last things we did, we've just seen, uh, found Maria's dead body. 
so she's to confirm that she's finally properly dead apparently um then we saved angela from her monster father before she ran off and now we're outside somewhere in a metaphysical graveyard and we're there's a deep hole here there's nothing inside we are uh, Okay, I see an item up there. Ampoule. It's a name inscribed on the tombstone. James Sunderland. Fucking hell, mate. <laughs> uh, Angela Roscoe. Damn. And this grave is... Eddie uh, Dombrowski. Yeah, so we are the three, indiv the three adults trapped in this world. So yeah, no no uh, grave for Laura, but you go down, jump into your own grave. I think that's the, the way to do it. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. Yeah, Kissy, I'm I'm not against that idea. It seems likely to me that there's far more to all of existence and reality and the universe than we can perceive in at this life for sure I do believe that that's cool so I guess that must have uh, probably might have been a comfort to you then to get that okay down more corridor <clears throat> excuse me Random door. Here he is, Eddie. He killed someone else again, Eddie. He's like, they made me do it. Eddie? What are you doing? What does it look like? He always busted my balls. Who's who? Fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Badass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. Yes, Eddie. Eddie corpse can't laugh. Uh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Okay, that's, that's good to know, Eddie. Eddie, have you gone nuts? Uh. <laughs> I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Uh. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James! Damn. Eddie, no need to be like that, bro. As you can see, he's, uh... Oh, gee. Oh, fuck. We took one in the iron noggin there. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, why? Well, I could get onto that, uh... You know. Later. But what? why James and Eddie are taking multiple gunshots? Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> Better part, how you doing, buddy? Yeah. Came in the perfect time. Um... <clears throat> Sorry, let me just ca catch up with what Kissy said there. Um... Hmm. Okay. That's gotta be uh that's gonna be uh That's gonna be quite a comfort, Kissy. Um Well yeah, he's mostly a crappy shot. Something tough. Oh god, yeah, he's a... oh. 
There we go. Point blank him. So yeah, when I was uh this so Eddie is the boss that um in my opinion is uh you do one of those? Yeah, let's do one of those. Um is I don't know how to fight Eddie without taking damage. Like you, you saw that. I don't know how you would like avoid his shots. Really, I don't know what the strategy, if anything, is. And we've got to, we've got to fight him again in here. But um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, apparently you have to. I have, I have. When I was doing the uh, challenge runs, I was uh, playing the whole game on hard, um, speed running it. You only get two saves, and this was obviously before save. This was not the save states because it's on the three sixty. Um, you have to basically pick up all the items in the game, but you can't take any damage yourself. Uh, uh, and I think you have to go out of your way to kill enemies as well. You can't just avoid them because you get, like, points for killing them. So you have to balance all that. Um, but the one thing that let me down over and over and over again was the taking too much damage. Um, the uh, the fight against uh, An Angela's dad uh, is tricky, but doable, taking minimal damage. But I always fell flat at fighting Eddie. Any time I tried to kill Eddie, I, 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 I don't, I can't do this boss fight without taking damage. I just, I just don't. We've already taken two shots in the first half of the fight. Do you know what it Actually. does to you, James? When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look. After you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life. Mm, not your condove. Yeah, I think we've all been there, Eddie. That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It's fun to kill it a dog. Tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Ugh. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog! <laughs> Eddie, you're fucking psycho, right? He's gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. And he does. Oh shit. I think I'm gonna skip the cuts in there. Sorry. Um. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Akuma. Um, but yes, uh, Kissy, I have one, uh, younger brother. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? Has she got to fake him out somehow? Oh, I don't understand. Yeah, look, I'm like, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what the uh, correct uh, technique is for sure. Unless, you, yeah, unless you try, to, you've got to like get him to punch you like that. <laughs> I need, I need to heal now. Okay, where's that? Oh my god, I probably need one of these, honestly. Oh yeah, Eddie. Oh, you had an eye in there, buddy. Oh, get away from me. Oh dear. I'm gonna take this on the, the face. Okay, that's uh, that's our uh, rifle rinsed. But it doesn't matter because look how many shotgun shells we've got. I mean, seriously. How are you doing today, Matt? Are you well? Buddy? I'm sure we had to kill him, but also self-defense. And, um, yeah, you probably think, well, how could they take so many bullets? Well, Eddie? on some level, this is not reality we're uh, Eddie? in. 
Yeah, you killed him, I, I killed a, a human being. In self-defense. <laughs> a human being. Indeed. Mary. Did you really die three years ago? You remember her dying, but who knows, buddy? Who indeed knows? I do, but we'll uh, we'll get into that as we uh, <laughs> as we progress. Yeah, Eddie, he was. It's a shame he had to die, but also he was a freaking psycho killer. So get out of here, buddy. Okay, so we are on the edge of the lake now. Okay, safe point. 22 saves. <laughs> like I say, if you uh, speed run it, you need to do two saves throughout the whole playthrough. And complete the game in like two hours. It's, uh... it's actually not as bad as it sounds. Oh, okay, we're literally at the lake. At the boat launch, so yeah. Was... So from the point we got into the Silent Hill Historical Society to just now, we were just—I guess—we were trapped in some otherworldly dimension. It's uh, not not known, so we're just gonna row across the lake. Let's do this. <clears throat> Thank God, there's a boat there. turn at some point, James. Right. I don't think there's any, like, secret trick to this. What you want to do, I believe, is you, uh, yeah, you turn to the light. It's all this fog on this lake is making me cold. I might want to be uh, putting a hoodie on this so I can actually. Uh, well, I'm sure when I first played that as a kid, I was like, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> Started rowing, and it was like, about 10 minutes, I'm like, where are we going? And then I was like, oh, okay, well, let's look around. Everything looks the same apart from this random light, so and that is uh, the way to go. place hasn't changed at all in three years. I'm allowed to tell through the fog, buddy. 
Is this the, the main entrance? The hotel? It's got to be the back entrance, right? It's going to be weird that the entrance to the hotel is pointed directly at the lake. It'd be, you think it'd be on the other side, right? There's a fountain in the shape of a bird. No water is coming out of it right now. Yeah, indeed. This, this, this has got to be the back entrance to the hotel, right? I don't think there's any items outside, but... Tell a lie. Oh, hello. It's found in the shape of a bird. No water's got yet. The shape of a bird? That's a fish, mate. What is this in front of you, though? I've got a Little Mermaid music box. Uh, music box figure, figure from the fairy tale. The uh, Little Mermaid text found at the garden oh. fountain. Oh, I can use that here. Okay. But it was something I wasn't expecting to be a, a a mission item. I was assuming it was going to be some heels or something. Okay, so I think the only thing for us to do is to head inside. Before we do that. Right, sorry about that. I was, as soon as I stood up, I was like, oh, fuck it, let me just... <laughs> While I'm here. While I'm here. Anyway, we're back. Let's find, let's find Mary in this hotel. She's surely not here, right? She's dead. She's been dead three years. You know this, James. What are you doing here, mate? Sort your life out, son. Give me a map. My favourite. Oh, shit. Look at that. Lakeview Hotel map. Written on the map. Uh, room 312. Waiting for you, dot, dot, dot. So I assume that was their room. Uh, I, I, at least the last time they came here. Yeah. Um, so maybe they requested it each time they, they stayed here. What's this? Room 312? That's the room Mary and I stayed in. Mary, are you there? Or maybe... I've got a hotel map for guests. The guests version. James! It's going good. We've just got to the... Well, spoiler alert. Final area of the game. Well, f not final, final area, but... The final main area, should I say. So where are we at the minute? Let me figure that out. Okay, cool. Right, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, look, the, we're at the back entrance here. Um, although, uh, yeah, yeah, so, okay, so the greyed out part is, like, the staff areas. So we've got a cafe to uh, our left, restaurant to the right, uh, elevator, uh, right directly in front of us is the lobby with the reception and gift shop. And then we've got the stair, main stairs, obviously, in the main hall. And then stairs, um, the stairwell to the left there with, uh, rooms on the, on the ground floor as well. Okay. I've got a gist of what's going on now. Oh. Stairs into the basement as well. Now, you know as well as I know that... It's not simply a case of going up the... In fact, can we change the uh, level soon? 
going up the uh, main floor. Okay, or, or the elevator, and just going up to the door. We've basically got to pick this whole whole hotel apart. But yeah, what's going on, James? Are you, are you well today, buddy? Have you, have you had work? Have you got work in a bit, or day off? Okay, so I'm just going to have a little look around in the basement first. See what's, what's this? the vibe down here. Okay, so we've got restrooms. A bar in the basement. Interesting. <clears throat> Painting is hanging here. There's nothing unusual about it. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. Hang on there. That's one. Uh, there's a vase here. It's not something that I can use right now. But maybe later. <laughs> Alright, mate. Alright, James. Ah, the bar is locked. The Venus Tears is the name of it. Okay, and the elevator is here. Oh, shit, what was that? Can of thinner. Thinner, as in paint thinner? Some kind of thinner. It is lying inside the elevator. Of course. What's going on? Well, it looks like the elevator has power, but can't really press the buttons or anything. Okay. Interesting. Okay, and the uh, the door to the bar is locked, so that suggests we will find a key for it at some point. Okay. Well, heading upstairs. Okay. Yeah, no, no power to the elevator, apparently. Okay, let's see if there's anything in the... I'm going to the restaurant. Okay. I doubt they're going to be serving any food. Hmm. Uh, enter the boy. How you doing there, boy? Uh, I hope you're well. <laughs> you got, you're obviously a fan of Silent Hill too. Um... Yeah, you really should have, Red Mage. Do it. Um, yeah. For what, though? I, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could, like, break... Do, like, a, a video breakdown of the trailer. And, like... You, you know me. I could take that trailer and I could spend, like, an hour and a half talking about it, couldn't I? Right? <laughs> right? Maybe I should do that. I don't know. Do I give a shit? I don't... I really don't. Uh... <laughs> I'll, but I, yeah, you, we could do that. They're like, here we go. Uh, like, start the trailer. Pause two seconds in. Be like, let's look at this. Let's analyze and study everything in this in the, the scene. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure I, I could uh, do that if I uh, wanted to. I don't know if I've got the uh, got the inclination to say fish key, a fish key on a plate. How interesting. Um, key with fish-shaped key holder. It's called a key ring, but never mind. Uh, it was on top of the restaurant table. Okay. 750 gigabytes, can you imagine? I mean... If it was Red Mage, I wouldn't be surprised. I right, cannot go out onto the uh, patio there. Okay, now he's up, yo. Laura, did I scare you? You did, you little yeah, bitch. You did. Wasn't as bad as the time you tried to murder me, though. You're here to find see. Mary, aren't you, James? Yes. You're here to well, murder me, aren't have you? Have you? No. No. Yet. Is that why you're here too? She's here, isn't she? I don't know. If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. And trying to murder people. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. 
What letter? Want to read it? Yeah, I want to read it. But don't Good. tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. Your nurse. So, obviously the, the timing of it doesn't add up. But it seems as though what Laura's suggesting is at the point where Mary was in hospital for her illness, Laura was also in hospital, in the same hospital for some reason. Um, oh, she, presumably she was ill as well at some point, but she obviously recovered. And that they struck up an acquaintance and maybe even a friendship. I don't know. Because that's the thing, I, sh I get the impression that Mary and James do not have children, didn't have children, so... You know, and I'm sure Mary was a nice lady and would have been like, oh, let me entertain and or um, accommodate this little girl who's trying to talk to me. Okay, so this is the letter apparently written from Mary to Laura. Uh, My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. Probably after she died. Um, I'm far away now in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. The sisters? Was that, was that like nuns? Religious nurses? Is that, is that an expression they use? Nurses are like sisters. It's a sister, I don't know. Um, uh, boy, I don't know. What should, what should, uh, do tell me. What, what do you think is the creepiest horror game? Uh... And Laura, about James, I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please give him a chance. No, she didn't want to do that. It's true he may be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much, but underneath he's really a sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Oh, did Laura not have any parents? Happy 8th birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. I'll oh, bless. Laura, how old are you? Um, I turned 8 last week. So, Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could, could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. You got a second letter from her. I gotta find it. Laura! Okay, weird. Just walk through a door there. Never mind. She'll be fine. She's obviously not immediately there, is she? Uh, <laughs> could be. Could be. I wonder if that's... Uh, maybe, yeah. I wonder if that could be going to be the thing. A drawing done by Laura. A cat? Question mark. It's definitely a cat, James. Are you, are you an idiot? Clearly it's a cat. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we've got seemingly a, an actual letter from Mary to Laura, um, but the timing doesn't add up. Uh, so Laura says she just turned eight. So if that is correct, then it, it would suggest that Mary just didn't die three years ago, but died far more recently than three years ago. Or is it maybe even didn't die? Oh shit! What the fuck we got going here? I think these are um, smaller versions of uh, Angela's dad we've got here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get off me. <laughs> oh, shit. James, <laughs> mate. Okay, two shotgun blasts and they're done for. 
Yeah, knock off weaker versions of Angela's dad. Well, she would be her, wouldn't it? They would be her, wouldn't they? But it's neither here nor there. Yeah, let's try to stay alive. Okay, um... Before we head out into the lobby, let's finish looking around here. Okay, can't go into the cafe. Okay, the stairwell's completely open. Let me, uh... Let's put the ground down here. I know we've got loads of shotgun shells, but at least let's play a sense of it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, jeez, James. <laughs> I was like, this, I've got five bullets in the magazine. That's that's enough. <laughs> okay, now. Whoa. Okay, so this, this area is all greyed out, but I assume this is because it's the... The uh, staff areas. Uh, laundry cart, nothing useful here. Hence, it's not on our personal map. Rifle shells, nice. Handgun bullets, more handgun bullets. More handgun bullets, fucking hell. Okay. Toilet paper, I don't need that right now. I need it right now, bro. This guy. <laughs> so no, I'm, I'm I'm perfectly I'm perfectly well. I don't. <laughs> he said, like, I don't need that. He said, like, I'm not asking you what you need. What about what I need? Can't even get into the bathroom. I guess we'll find a corner somewhere. Okay, and that lock is broken. Okay. We've got a few items. Um, let me just check the... Uh, I'd, I'll come together there, I would assume. Okay, before I head up these... Oh, actually, can I head up the stairwell? Yeah, fuck it. Let's head up the stairwell. Sounds like a big boy, doesn't it? Stompy stomp. <laughs> oh, okay. This had a bit of a spread on it, though. Interesting. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can get into any of these rooms. Okay, so this is um, room 204 is locked. Let's go and find a key for that. And 205 also locked. Right, okay, so that's all that is on the, this floor. 202, 204, both locked. Okay. Hey, hey, Emo, how you doing there? Thank you, thank you. I, did, I didn't even realise until I went live today that it was my affiliate uh, anniversary. Thank you, appreciate that. How you doing? How you doing there? I hope you're good. Inside the drawer? I'll see a first aid kit. I'll take that out.
Oh, what have we got here? Shotgun shells times two. Handgun bullets times two. My God. Yeah, overly generous, obviously, as you can tell. Um, okay, briefcase. The bag is locked. Okay, it's a bag, is it? <laughs> uh, I wonder if the fish key will get us in there. Yeah, yes, it did. Okay, cool. That's just a random guess. Why the fish key? Ah, key to hotel room 204. Okay. Key to a key. Um, I can't hear anything from the receiver. Could the phone line possibly be cut? I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't think you really understand the scope of the situation, James, if you're thinking... <laughs> You never played it uh, anymore, have you not? I, I grew up with the series. So I, I freaking love them. But yeah, we're uh, we're relatively near the end of Silent Hill 2 here. And more handgun bullets. More handgun bullets. Fucking hell. It's overly generous right now. But yeah, I won't uh, try and explain everything. But if you've got any questions, Emil, just uh, let me know. Well, thank you, Red Mage. Yeah, I, 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 I always remembered um, you did not want to play it. No, I don't, I don't blame you. It's not for everybody. Um... Uh, so yeah, Red Mage, I always remember my stream anniversary, the anniversary of the very first time I streamed, episode one, this nib show. But uh, I, I, I never remembered my uh, my uh, affiliate of anniversary. Um, but yeah, apparently Twitch tells you now, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Shotgun shells. Okay, this is so the the. Hotel's got its own library, I guess. There's a book here. Doesn't it look like we have any particular use? There's a book. It's more than a book, James. Come on, mate. <laughs> more shotgun shells. Yeah, overly generous in the ammo it's given you. And a health drink. But, you know, it's what it is. Oh, it looks particularly useful. There's a book open on top of the desk. It's like a medical book. I'm going to... Oh, sorry. I've already read enough medical books. None of them ever did any good. I guess presumably related to... Uh, Mary's illness. What game are we playing next, uh, Emil? We're playing... After this, I don't, I don't think we'll start today, but our next game lined up is Mass Effect 2, which I've never played. Uh, we, a couple of months ago, I had my very first playthrough experience of Mass Effect uh, and I was uh, pleasantly surprised. I wasn't expecting it to be bad, but it was uh, better than I thought it was going to be. And I've heard by most accounts that Mass Effect Two is even better than the first one. So um, I'll be uh, I'll be uh, excited to do that. Um, I have played Dishonored One and Two, but not on stream. Um, yeah, I love the Dishonored games. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Um, I would be, uh, I would be interested to, I would not be against playing Dis Dishonored 1 and 2 on stream. Um, but also, um, it's not something that I'm, like, feel needs to be covered, if that makes sense. If the people want to see it, I'll, I'll do it, but it's not something that I would necessarily add to the list myself. But yeah, Dishonored 1 and 2, both very, very fun games, in my opinion. Okay, let's see what's in room 2 Hard to see. Employee elevator key. Okay. Oh, jeez. Someone smashed the uh, the wall down into the next room. Right. Okay. It's not dark, apparently. Okay, so we've got a code there on a case. I've got no idea what the code might be. Photos are scattered all over the bed. What's this? Oh, that seems to be a photo of the case. Part of the photo has been coloured over with a marker. Oh, there we go. Should run down to the basement first, right? Use the thinner. Open. Lol. Lol. <laughs> 
the code to open the case is open. Well. Well. So I'm just make sure there's nothing else in here. We we'll probably go exit the that door, right? Now it's unlocked. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, thankfully it's not the whole alphabet. That would be a problem. Just random selection of letters. Okay, and what are those gals? Cinderella music box. Okay, so that's two music boxes now. Uh, music box the, uh, with figure from the fairy tale Cinderella attached. And it's a trunk in room 202. So we've got Little Mermaid and Cinderella. I'll, I'll see a bit of a running theme here. Okay, so I guess this is everything over here finished. Um... Interesting. So I could head over into the uh, lobby here, or uh, I could just try heading up the stairwell again to the third floor. I'll try that. I think I, I if I recall correctly, it's going to be blocked off. Let's find out. Yeah, I, I very much enjoyed uh, Dishonored games. When it was fir the first one was released, it was like kind of it's kind of quite a big deal. I feel. And the uh, the second one was just an improvement in all regards. It was um, okay. It's locked. Okay, we're going up the third floor that way at least. Um, was it, was it called Death of the Outsider? Is that the one? I don't know. Uh, there's like a half game sequel to the second one. I've never played that, though I do have access to it, so that could be. Uh, I think I do anyway. That could be interesting. Okay, right, heading out into the uh, the lobby finally. So uh, we got the uh, sorry, we got the employee elevator key, didn't we? Okay, it doesn't really say much. So I found one one elevator that well, it wasn't working, but then another that uh, kind of was. Okay, let's head down into the uh, the lobby here. Oh. Rectangular indentation. There's a plate in front of the indentation, something is engraved on it. Even so, I still want to believe that she was happy. Play the music box. Uh, okay. Nothing. Right, you see the three indentations. I need three music boxes. To put in these three slots. We got two. The rectangular indentation. Uh, Twas shameful greed did stain her shoe with blood. Or sh Surely that's... No, I didn't mean, I meant to first click no there. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to be Cinderella's shoe. shoe. No, there's a bloody shoe, but this is a... variation of things. And the final one is... Just to get an idea. Beauty. Both a blessing and a curse thou be. Okay, so I'll... Um, so I guess Cinderella will be the shoe. Little Mermaid. Uh, beauty. Uh, blessing and a curse. Or I'd like to think she was happy. Maybe it's that one. So maybe for the uh, Sleeping Beauty is the final one. That would fit there, but... So this seems to be what I'm, everything's building towards here. I can't leave this hotel just yet. No, okay. Well, you could, but... You, you choose her not to. Um, and of course, I assume these doors will open. I'll never check them. Let me check them both just to. Confirm. Yeah, okay. Okay, here's reception. What's this? Mr. James Sunderland, the videotape you forgot here is being kept in the office on the first floor. I assume it's not, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not pornographic, I assume. Oh, is that a key there? 
key to room 312. Ah, oh, the key to the room where Mary and I stayed. Right, okay. So we can get into the room. We just have to find a way up there. Okay. So I guess the office is somewhere on the first, yeah, the first floor, kind of like in that grayed off area. Okay, so I want to try that's the uh, east side of the second floor. That's uh, my next uh, lead. And thankfully, we can get through here. Health drink. Rifle shells. Fucking hell, mate. All right, elevator, no power. Employee elevator key. Okay. I'm getting somewhere. And save point. I just saved it, so. Health drink times two. God oh, damn it. Uh, memos hanging here, but nothing interesting is written. You don't get to decide that, James. Tell me what it says. I'll decide. <laughs> the shelf is empty. Okay. Fuck me. Okay, what's that about? I'm gonna close these doors, bro. Oh, wait allowance. One person. It's been written over the button. What's this? We're only one person, mate. I can store my stuff here. So, <laughs> so basically that, uh... Pyramid Head's knife that he's got in his back pocket. Uh, <laughs> it weighs too much. So what the fuck have we got to store? Everything? Having a bubble, right? Not on shelf. We're just putting everything on the shelf. Fucking hell. Okay, I, I guess I'll just do it. Cause I'm fucking around it. No weapons. No heels. No music box. Uh, put the key on there as well. We can easily, should be easily be able to come back up here, I assume. Angela's knife. Laura's letter. Fuck you. Letter from Mary. Picture of Mary. Surely I can take my flashlight and radio. Surely. That's ridiculous. Take your fucking jacket off, son. I have to literally dump all of your items. That's insane. LOL. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, so, I don't know. Are we going up to the third floor? I don't know. I don't know what floor we're going up to. Never mind. We'll find out. It's on the second at the moment. No? Okay, down to the first floor. So if there's any enemies, I'm just gonna have to run away from them. And not and also don't take too much damage because I don't have any heals. Oh here we go. Hotel map for employees. Excellent. So I assume that's replaced our actual map and we've got everything marked on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Well, it said in the office. That's just that room there. But I feel like I should try and look around at everything else while I'm here, right? Just obviously avoiding any enemies that may be around. Potatoes and onions here. This smells slightly rotten. Only slightly. Ah, Snow White music box. Um, it's not Sleeping Beauty. So I guess Snow White would be beauty. Yeah, cause Snow White is supposed to be like super beautiful. Right, I, think, I, I assume the Little Mermaid was supposed to be beautiful as well, but I think, I think that was just more about her wanting freedom to walk on land, wasn't it? Uh, there are tea bags and cookies here. Little past the expiration date. I would I would crack open a box of cookies. We just tr try them out. What are you going to do? Dry dried out a little bit. I mean, juice cans are lined up here. There's no reason to carry these with me. No, we can crack one and drink it, bro. Come on. Soup cans are lined up here. I guess they're still okay, but I'm not hungry. I am. This guy. Um. Stairs down to the basement, which presumably I could have ridden the uh, lift down here. Too dark to read the map. That's a problem. Um, let me uh, let me finish looking around on the ground floor. Before I go in the office. Schedule book here. The date is from one year ago. It's not like a book. It's a whiteboard, mate. Rifle shells times two. God damn it. Okay, actually, you have to be in the light. Version. Shutters are closed. Okay. There you go. Light. Okay, so it's all blocked off there. Okay, so cool. Let's head into the office and I guess we can head downstairs to get out. Um, there's nothing here that looks particularly useful. Uh, the lock is broken, I can't open it. Here we go. I've got the videotape. Uh, there's a can opener underneath the videotape. Oh, okay. Uh, this, here we go. So, Silent Hill is written on the label in my handwriting. This is definitely the video tape I recorded back then. Okay. I'm not going to go back into the pantry and op open up some random cans with that, boy. Surely not. Oh, uh, so nothing useful. Tell me something useful, buddy. Tell me what it says. Shit, we've got fucking enemies down here. That's a problem.
Oh shit. Get the fuck, get the fuck out of it, buddy. Okay, I don't know where I've ended up here. I've ended up at the land of health drinks, apparently. Oh. There's a can with no label on it. A very large can. It's almost crying out for some uh, can opening, isn't it? Okay, light bulbs. We'll take one of those, I guess. <laughs> I mean, we could use some light on the situation, I guess. But... Oh, okay. Uh, okay, cool. All right, so I missed the boiler room, the pump room, and the elevator, and the liquor storage running through there in my panic of those enemies. I mean, it's the bar. If nothing else, surely I can just unlock the door here. Oh. There's a lamp on the counter, but there's no light bulb, so I can't turn it on. Okay. Are we taking that with us? There's a jukebox here, doesn't play. It's broken. Oh, it's ah, it is locked. Okay. So what was the fucking light for, then? Unless it's literally, I have to find the key, but then you also need the light to be able to see the, the fucking keyhole or something stupid like that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I can't take that light anyway. So, yeah, just so just on the right, liquor storage. Then round to the end, check the boiler room and the pump room. And also the elevator, which I assume would be, would have access to, which I don't strictly need access to. Oh, jeez. Okay, they're trying to swing at him, but they're trying to... Ugh! First aid kit. Oh, it's fucking loud in him. Oh. The bar key. Excellent. Okay, so that door just to our uh, left there. It's broken. Oh shit. James! Careful, matey. Oh, okay, and the elevator can't actually be accessed down here. Fuck <laughs> you, buddy! Okay, it's a little hit there, but no big deal. Yeah, I expect that's what the light was for then. I bet if we had the key, it'd just be like, you can't see anything. I'm like, ready? Right, okay, so. Oh, jeez, okay. Too dark to read the map. Um, I guess that elevator come isn't going to work. Okay, just run around them. Okay, so I need to get back up to the second floor to get my stuff. And I've got the three music boxes now, haven't I? So that's going to do something for us, presumably. Let me get all my uh, gear back first. Ew. Retrieve everything from the shelf, yes. Lol. Right, okay, let me go, uh... Use these music boxes, then. Oh, the enemies are gone. Now I've got my stuff back. They're like, oh no! He's got his guns! <laughs> Let's run away! Uh, 
Okay, so I think it's going to be Cinderella, Little Mermaid, Snow White is the correct order, I think. Resident Evil right now, buddy. Code Veronica, anyone? This game came before that. Hotel Stairway Key. Okay, cool. So that should... I don't think we've missed anything here, have we? Um, yeah, that should allow me to, you know, I've been, ever, I've been everywhere in the hotel now. Yeah. Let's get to the, uh, stairwell. Might as well go this way, I guess. There we go. Now that's our room right here, but I mean, I'm inclined to just check the other doors. No, okay. This is it. Let's go see Mary. Thought you were dead. Oh, she's not jumping out at me. Okay. Empty room. I guess we play the videotape there's a television here even when it's plugged in all i get is snow okay let's watch the video we made we actually oh, there's mary Are you taping again Come on. Oh, I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. Oh, it's too bad we have to leave. Please promise you'll take me again, James. <laughs> So obviously you wanted to go back, but she was too ill and to go back, so that was kind of like a dying wish. Janky videotape, bro.
from our James. Revelations. What did you see there that I didn't? Some what you do tell us. <clears throat> Mary. All right. Here's Laura. Found the weapon. So there you are, James. Yes. Did you get the letter? Did you find Mary? If not, let's get going already. Okay? Laura. Mary's gone. She's dead. Yeah. Yeah, this. Liar, that's a lie! No, that's not true. She... she died because she was sick? No. I killed her. Too, but I don't think that's the time for that. <laughs> she was always waiting for you. Why? Why? If you uh, listen, you might get an explanation. The Mary you know isn't here. So, <laughs> he uh, confirms that she is, in fact, dead. But obviously, she's not completely dead in the sense that there's so, some remnant of her here that's clearly literally calling out to him right now. Uh, however, James's re re uh, uh, revelation is that, yeah, she's dead. I know she's dead because I killed her. Now, it's kind of hard to tell exactly. And it wasn't in that videotape, and it wasn't exactly obvious. Uh... I only saw it because I knew to look for it. Um, but yeah, uh, so James essentially euthanized his own wife because she was ill. Now, what isn't clear, of course, is... Uh, did he do that with extreme regret? And she basically begged him. She was in so much pain and suffering. She was like, James, please, if you love me, you'll kill me. Please, 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 please kill me. Was it the other extreme where it's like... Uh, my fucking wife. She's she's <laughs> she's almost dead. If she only she die sooner, let's get her the fuck out of here. Useless bitch. It's probably neither one of those two extremes. It's probably somewhere in the middle. But which of those two extremes does it lean closer towards? Um. So yeah. So essentially, uh, how he feels about this, whether it's guilt or some kind of trauma. Uh that has brought him here that that fact has been hidden from his 
conscious mind. But regardless, it's still not resolved. Yeah, okay, now we've got the hotels leaking. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. What I I would uh do. Your loved ones, you know, if they if they ask you to kill them, what would you do? I don't I don't know what I'd do. Okay. So think So things have changed seemingly subtly in the hotel. Oh, okay, we've got a save point there. So marked as a blocked off and some are not. The read again. Oh. Mary's going to die? You you must be you must joking. be joking. No. I'm very sorry. But you're a doctor! It's your job to heal people. How can you just let her die? Please, calm down. As her doctor, I promise I'll do what I can. But there's still no effective treatment for her condition. How long does she have? I'm afraid I'm not sure. Three years at most. Perhaps six months. It's impossible to say with certainty. She was upset about that. So she had a terminal illness. Doctor's uh, prognosis was max three years, uh, little as six months. Yeah, because it's um, kind of fucked up, isn't it? It's like. If you, it's, it's one thing if you, like, say you, you're married and then your wife just suddenly dies, you'd be, like, distraught and that. But if you like living with the fact that she is going to die, but she's not quite, she's not dead yet, that's that's fucked up, buddy. Oh, again, some of these doors are marked, some are not. Weird. Oh. Oh, it's... Oh, right, okay, we've got this like that, is it? <laughs> oh, oh, that's taken us over the other side of the hotel. Okay. Where's this taking us? Oh, that takes us back here. Okay. We've got some uh, teleporting doors here. That's fine. Let's figure it out. Okay, and that just takes us right back there. Okay. Let me try 201. Let's see what that is going to do for us. Nothing. Okay, so back in 202. I should take it over to the other side. Right, and that just takes us back. So I'll try 216 or 212. And that just takes us back over here. Okay, so I wonder if I just have to go to the door at the end there. Go into the... Okay, I, I suppose I should try. Unless there's no purpose or point to any of these... Uh, these doors. I just did to fuck with you.
ampules. Fucking hell. It's like a set. Can't get through that door. Okay, that's not good. It's like they're almost setting you up for something. Okay, and this is actually a dead end play, right? Interesting. Are we on the elevator, maybe? Ah, oh, we can. Okay. Because we've already been around the hotel, but it's like a, a, a slightly different version of itself right now, so... More, far more wet. Oh. Doesn't look good. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Bubbling out of control some. Alright. It's like that, is it? It's a wall. I can't get through here. <laughs> you think? Okay. And the, uh... Wet version of the, uh... The bar. Oh my god. Health drink. And again. And again. And again. And again, it's like they're trying to say, by the way, you're going to get beat up in a minute. And just so you're aware. Shotgun shells, shotgun shells. Rifle shells, rifle shells. Jeez, look at you, son. First aid kit. Maybe we should have played on hard, I don't know. Oh my god, the music there. I mean, it all looks blocked off on the map, so... Let's head up this way. Oh. A fire. A fiery staircase. And it was Angela. Hello, Angela. Are you chill now? You want to get out of this place? If, if that's even an option. Mama! Nope. Nope. Now you're the only one left. I'm not Maybe your mother, then. Angela. Maybe then I can rest. Mama, why are you running away? You're not my mama. No, obviously. It's it's you. Yes. No, Angela, right, Angela. no. It's fine. Thank you for saving me. No worries. But I wish you hadn't. Well, you'd let your monster father eat you. Even Mama said it. I deserved what happened. No, so your Angela, mother said that. that's wrong. Yeah, you did not deserve what happened. No, don't pity me. I'm not worth it. Wow. 
Jeez, Angela, fucking hell. Or maybe you think you can save me. Will you love me? Take care of me? Heal all my pain? No, obviously not. <laughs> That's what I thought. Wow, she's so psychotic. She's like a mood changed on a dime. James, give me back that knife. Yep. Yeah. No, I, I won't. Mm. Saving it for yourself. Yep. Yeah. No. Me. No, I'd never kill myself. Damn. It's Music's hot so as hell in here. Yeah, no shit. You see it too. Yeah. For me, it's always like this. Jeez. That's fucked up. Okay, so she's just... Angela's lost to us, so I guess we can't... We can't walk up the stairs there after all. So she asked for the, her, her kitchen knife back. The butcher's knife, and we were like, no. To which she's like, oh, you're just going to save it for yourself. And James's like, I'll never kill myself. No, no. And she just wanders off. So I guess Angela, unfortunately, is a victim of Silent Hill. She's lost. And will just burn forever, which is kind of fucked up to think about. All right, so now we're back upstairs. Oh, no, we came downstairs, but we're upstairs. The fizzly chisel. Okay, I think we're going this way. Oh, okay. God, how many, how many rounds we got? I think it's time to just a quick clip the shotgun, because I mean, at this point in the game. <laughs> Nine save points were uh, clustered together. Oh, I think I might know what we got through. I might, in fact, want to rock this. again. I was weak. You were, James. That's why I needed you. Needed someone to punish me for my sins. But that's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Yeah? Did you know that pyramid heads? Two of them. Jesus 
Christ, there are. They're not slow, are they? Fucking hell, mate. Sound like they're made out of metal, right? Dink. I guess their their heads are. They're trying to cut me off, motherfucker. I think so. I don't have the heels for it. In fact, yeah, seven amples, tw yeah, twelve twenty. Twenty freaking health drinks. Jesus Christ. Last four rifle rounds. Oh, there we go. Done. I think it's dead. Yeah, share a health bar. Kill themselves. Fucking disturbing. I do love Pyramid Head. That's what I got him tattooed on my back. Uh, <laughs> it's like he's holding something. Scarlet Egg. Is he holding one as well? Pyramid Head won't move anymore. Looks like he's holding something. Rust Coloured Egg. Sort of quail's egg. Yeah, in the movie, it's uh, it's different. It's uh, I've been a flat, sort of flat face at the front. On there, it's uh. It's uh, just, uh, you know, rather than be a four-sided pyramid, which these guys technically are, which is my preferred style in the in the movie, it's a three-sided pyramid with, like, bolts on it and stuff, which I kind of, uh, I was never a fan of because it's, like, in the lore, it is, in fact, okay, just put one of the eggs in it, is, um, they're supposed to represent the executioners from back in the day. And that's how James has manifested them because he feels guilty of what he's done. But, um, like in the picture we saw and such. And it was, you know, they would wear a hood. That's what it's supposed to represent. But, um, the, the creature, these entities known as Pyramid Heads, that's not, that's not a helmet he's wearing. He's not got a head under there. That's his, that is his fucking head. That's the that's how I interpret it at least. So the fact that if you add, take a different version, you're adding like nuts and fucking bolts on it to make it like look more metal, then it looks less like his head and more like he has something on his head. And I don't know if that's factual. That's just my my interpretation. But, but yeah, I prefer that style over the the nuts and bolts movie version, which uh, I believe they introduce into the game series later on i think i think maybe the uh pyramid head you see in later games is the nuts and bolts pyramid head um right so we go out the front door maybe no that's where we came from we go out this sort of door the back door get back on the boat
Oh, that's even Mary? Thing. What do you want, James? I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Wow. Just go home already. Wow. Mary, what are you saying? Look, I'm disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here! Leave me alone already! No use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. It'd be wow. easier if they'd just kill me. Wow. But okay. I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off me. They oh. want to keep me alive. Wow. Are you still here? I told you to go! Are you deaf? What the fuck? Don't come back! James! Wait! Mixed messages, love. Please don't go! Stay with me! Don't leave me alone! I didn't mean what I said! Please, James! Tell me I'll be okay! You're not gonna be okay. Tell me I'm not going to die! You're gonna die. Help me! Damn. So, um... A bit more of a revelation there so uh you know none of us want to die especially if you're like super ill from it and you've got a terminal illness that's not be good but um we, we didn't really know anything about mary this is like the first time we've really heard her speak but she was bitter about her impending doom um so james is trying to be nice and you know give love and attention to his wife and she's like, don't bring me flowers. I don't deserve it. I'm all ugly and disgusting because of illness and drugs. And, and then she's like cynical about the hospital, keeping her alive. But then when it comes to it, she's like, well, actually, I'll just, I'm just emotionally distraught. Um, so, yeah, we still know. We, it seems like maybe she was like, please, maybe she, she I'm airing more on the side of she asked him to help her die. Just to end her suffering. Um, rather than James just being like, Get out of here, bitch! <laughs> but, who knows? Go down there. Not that I know that we'd want to do that, but Oh, hello. Mary? When will you ever stop making that mistake? No. Yeah. Mary is dead. You killed her. No. Yeah. Maria? It's you. But I don't need you anymore. What? You must be joking. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. No. Nope. I'm different than Mary. How can you throw me away? I understand now. It's time to end this nightmare. No! I won't let you! You deserve to die too, James! No. Oh, 
and or moths. Right, so Mary slash Maria has turned into the cage entity. Or one of them. Oh, well. Oh my god. Um, okay. Should have saved the uh, hunting rifle for uh, for her. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I actually one one benefit of the handgun, in fact, is I can get some distance on like the shotgun. Let me try that. One. I don't think it's anything to do about these bad mob type things. Take the damage. I don't know. I run away from these fucking things? No, I still get you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a kind of slight, slightly janky boss fight. I'll be honest. Sometimes Silent Hill boss fights are janky, but um, this might be one of the more janky ones. That's they go. Fear, Maria slash uh, Mary slash awful memory. Uh, Green Day for real. Yeah, I respect. I like Green Day. I'm only really familiar with their uh, um, first few albums. Mary? Up to, I guess like up to <laughs> Nimrod, maybe. But um, thank you for the uh, follow there. Appreciate it. James. Oh, what, did they take her Forgive me. home eventually? And then you got, like, a, I made told a you that I wanted yeah. to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. No. That's not true. You also said you didn't want to die. The truth is, I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. Wow, he's been honest. I wanted my life back. James, 
If that were true, then why do you look so sad? Mary? James. Please. Please do something for me. Go on with your life. Right, so he admits a small part of him was like hated the awful feelings he was having in the rigmarole of it. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now in our special place, waiting for you. Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling. And all I can think about is how unfair it all is. I'm the doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. Don't apologize. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most. Especially you, James. That's why... I understand if you do hate me, but I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Damn. Even though our life together had to end <clears throat> like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <laughs> well, this letter has gone on too long, so <coughs> I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. 
these last few years since I became ill. I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. Ooh. You've given me so much, hey, and I gosh. haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy. Bless. Yeah, indeed, Wolf. I'll stop picking it apart in a minute. Okay. What if she was... What if she was buried in... Silent Hill? With the start of the letter, her saying, um... I'm in my, uh, special place. Our special place. And obviously, the letter was intended to be read after she was dead. So I guess that was... Maybe that was... Hence the graveyard in the town. Um, but there is eight main games. Um, Wolf, there's some weird spin-offs and phone games and jank like that. But um, I consider there to be eight main games. Um, of, of varying qualities of gameplay and story and stuff. <laughs>
It's loud as fuck, boy. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, just want to keep you waiting there, folks. So I thought I'd just let the... There's no way to skip those uh, credits. Uh, so, yeah, the volume level is... It's one of those retro games where it has in the menu... You can adjust the volume levels. But it's only, like, within the game. They didn't think to have the... Uh, the uh, foresight to think, oh, what about the... <laughs> What about the cutscenes and the ending cutscene? Anyway, good music, but anyway. Uh, so yes, Green Day for real. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Wolf, yes, I don't know if you heard me or not. Yeah, there are eight in the series uh, of varying um, degrees of quality of gameplay and story. But they're all worthy of an a gander at. Um, but yeah, I hope you got something out of it, Wolf. I, I fucking love it. Um, but uh, Mirage, how are you doing, sir? Are you well? I hope life is treating you well. I hope your stream's going good. I hope you're living your best life, buddy. Slight, thank you. Um, I didn't even notice my... Uh, and Squidge, thank you. I didn't even notice my uh, stream affiliation anniversary. I think you're starting... Uh, uh, anniversary is more important, which I always remember that, but I'd forgotten. But apparently it's the 5th of December. Anyway, I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining us. But um, yeah, let's see what's there. So there we go. So I guess you game results. So yeah, we obviously play on normal and hard. For the uh, puzzle level. Uh, yeah, endings, leave. There are four different endings. I can tell you uh, those, uh, we'll discuss those in a minute. And then you've got like, how many items you picked up? How you walk in and you run distance? Uh, 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 defeated enemies by shooting, nine. Oh yeah, defeated enemies by fighting. Yeah, because if you stomp on them on the floor after they're down, that counts as physical fighting. Um, so you see that the, uh, enemies by fighting, enemies, uh, the boat stage time, 1 minute, 12 seconds, and the riddle level, they're in yellow. Basically, you need to get yellow on pretty much every one of these stats for, to get, like, the, you know, the best rating or whatever. 25 save, yeah, yeah, that has to be under 2 or left saves, yeah, total damage done, rank, F 5 stars out of what? Nobody knows. <laughs> Save clear data. I, I guess we can. If it matters, does it? Um, okay, let's uh, leave that there a second. Um, your new game plus there. So yeah, you get something. So um, let me uh, jump us over here for a second before we talk about so uh one of the four endings you have to have completed all three of the other endings um so yeah let me i guess i'll explain the different the other potential endings we could have gotten there um and what and then the what we've just ex experienced as a story uh yeah, so the leave ending, which um, we got, and is, is the one you're most likely to get, which is he survives, and him and Laura decide to, that, you know, eventually they leave Silent Hill, and they live and have survived the experience. Uh, James must act like he wants to survive and complete his journey while not showing too much focus or attention on Maria or the memory of Mary. Uh, this is the most likely ending you will achieve by playing the game normally. Um, the Maria ending, if you show lots of attention and comfort towards Maria, that's developed a bond with her instead of holding on to Mary's memory. Um, yeah, don't bump into her, protect her from monster attacks, uh, check back in on the, uh, it, when she's, like, resting in the hospital, check back on her after you've seen her dead in the labyrinth. Um, uh, so I didn't do any of that. Um, but I think that's essentially... Because uh, as we, as we could see there, it's probably you could have put that together. Um, the Maria is a figment of James's psyche, in conjunction with the uh, the the uh, juju of uh, the town of Silent Hill. She doesn't exist, um, and she's an apparition created by his psyche to help him deal with what the situation he's in uh and the dark side of silent hill is like oh yeah you should just 
You should just, you know, forget about your wife and the fact that she's dead. Just hang out with this better version of her. Um, so I think, uh, I mean, I, you could you can go look it up on YouTube if you are so inclined. But um, she uh, you basically just stays in Silent Hill with Maria for the rest of his life, I guess. <laughs> Um, and the, uh, f the third ending is the in-water ending. Uh, James must act in a suicidal or reckless manner while also keeping a strong attachment to Mary. Um, so yeah, that, things like that, you, uh, you, uh, don't heal yourself too often, run around, like, on low health a lot. Um, this is the main thing to do. Uh, and do stuff to avoid the other two endings. But I, that basically, that ending is James feels so guilty about what he's done. He, I believe he drives his car into the lake and doesn't come out. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, again, because this is um, a standalone story within the silent hill setting i don't think it actually has a canon ending because he because it has no knock-on effect to any of the other games james sunderland is never mentioned again never appears in another game so it kind of almost doesn't matter i would assume if one was it's the good ending essentially that we got where he leaves with laura and you know, happy ending, essentially. There is a fourth ending, which you can only get if you do have done the other three endings. So it's kind of like a bit of a strange one. Um, oh, actually, tell it, tell a lie. You only have to complete the... You have to only have to get one of the other endings first. But yeah, there's four random items scattered throughout the game. Uh, you have to get all of those items and then go to a certain place. And it's called the rebirth ending, which is essentially... Uh, James gets some insight into the workings of Silent Hill and decides to uh, construct some kind of ritual to bring Mary back to life. Uh, I'm sure you can understand how well that uh, ends. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and there's, uh, there's also two uh, joke endings as well, but I don't need to go into those. Um, so yeah, so what was actually going on there, of course, so James's wife Mary, she, you know, she became terminally ill, and we saw at the end there the back and forth between them. Um, you know, there's the the not equal measures, but there's love for each other, but also resentment. Um, resentment on James's part that he's like, I loved you, and now you're just gonna go and die on me and leave me alone. And also, if you're gonna die, I would I prefer if you just fucking hurry up and die so I can get on with my life. Obviously, he didn't really feel that way, but, you know, subconsciously, that's part of his uh, emotional response to a situation like that, while also trying to do the right thing. It's like, oh, I'm here to visit. I've brought you flowers, as if that's going to fucking fix anything. Um, arguably, even more resentment on Mary's end, where she's like, she's frust frustrated. She's like, didn't want to accept the fact that she's going to die. Um, and then, you know, with the physical pain and the fact that, She's like, well, you must resent me, so I resent you. And it's like all this back and forth. But as we saw in our letter at the end, um, which obviously that is the letter that James, in fact, did receive after she died. So the events of this game, we, ass we assume is actually, James is led to believe that it's three years after the, her death. It might actually be a lot less than that. So she, he got this letter and because of his broken psyche, he uh, only read the first two uh, paragraphs, which was, I'm in that special place in Silent Hill. Come see me. And he's like, oh, you're dead. I'll go see you. <laughs> well, if, he, he's, if, he not, if he'd been mentally switched on, he would have read the, the entirety of the letter and gone, oh, no, she's dead. But she loved me and forgave me. And she hoped that I for love and forgive her. And I do. So everything's fine. I don't need to go to that place. Um, but yeah, I mean, this <sighs> compared to the events and what is going on in the first game and the third game, which is a direct sequel to the first game, um, which is uh, integral to the overall lore of the setting. Um, Silent Hill 2 is far less complicated in that regard. 
um the stories of say uh i mean laura is just a narrative uh device to uh slowly peel back the relationship between james and mary essentially um eddie and angela are just random counter uh, characters with their own issues that got you know trapped in silent hill one, one was a, a psycho killer uh and one was a victim of extreme abuse and also became a murderer because of that um you know they, they they were just in the story to add flavor i guess more interesting interactions and things happening in the in, as you journey through the game but uh aside from that they you know they didn't contribute anything to james's story specifically um but yeah um i uh i uh, i adore that game and uh a, you know a lot of silent hill fans hold it as the best in the series i don't feel that especially after we just done our playthrough here i'm like no it's in fact i would say it's not even close honestly i understand why people i think it's because they they feel it's um they feel it's uh i don't know it's like i think for a lot of people it's the first one they played i think that's the main honestly the main reason um but it, yeah, it does have a. It is more simplistic in the setting, the actual story. So maybe that gives it more appeal, and it's this sad, fucked up story as well. Um, that's probably something to do with it. But there we go. That's Silent Hill Two, guys. Uh, now we're not actually finished with the game. We are playing the director's cut, and there is a uh, bonus scenario which I don't remember too well. Um, well. I can tell you, reveal this. We actually play as Maria. And I believe it takes place before she meets James. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't remember this, but I, I guess we'll get into it and see any reason or not. Let's go. All right. Okay, new game. Yeah, born from a wish. So, this is kind of weird because you looking at it from Maria's point of view. Uh, action level normal. Okay, and there was no riddle level. Um, Maria is just a fabrication of the power of. When I woke up, I was of all Silent alone. Hill. She's not even a real person in essence. Everyone's gone. Is it because of those monsters? Yes. But she thinks she's real, which is kind of what disturbing do I do itself. Now? What do you do now, Maria? You've got a revolver. Do I fight and live? Or do those monsters get me? I don't have any reason to go on living. I'm scared to die. I'm so afraid of pain. Should I run away? I want to find somebody. I don't like being alone. But. But is there anyone left alive? Good question. Revolver bullets. Probably going to be handy, no doubt. What are you looking at, Maria? Health drink. Times two. Okay, cool. Hey, Andy! How you doing there? Oh, look at that. Cool. Cheers, dude. Five stream streak. I appreciate that. Um, mm, yeah, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, it's going good. It's going good. How you doing, bud? Are you well? Um, that's ominous. You had a single bullet in there. I don't have any revolver that has uh, 10 rounds in it, but. <laughs> Easy to use, but not much power. I don't know about that. We shall see, though. Um, nice. We've got 21 rounds and two 
health drinks, so... So it goes, but yeah, what's, what's, what's going on, Andy? Are you well, buddy? We've got any new uh, additions to your collection? Yeah, a bit chilly. You know what? I was actually thinking about this earlier. At least down my way. The, the real biting cold hasn't hit yet. And I know I'm we're just a, a fucking jinx does right there, but... <laughs> So the locker's broken. That's into the bar there, isn't it? Which I assume we need to go into. Yes, yeah, so this is a uh, rat. Um, is it... Uh, what's the name of... Oh, we've got the map as well. Okay. Yeah, Heaven's Night Bar. This is where she had the key. This is where Maria thinks she worked. That's locked. But obviously she didn't kind of really because she's she never really existed. Looks like the locker is broken. Okay, I guess we're heading into the bar then. Damn, now. Nice, Andy. Respect that. Slushy, is it? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we've we've not had any down here, thank God. I'm not a fan of it, but it's, uh, yeah, we, it's, it does sometimes get biting cold, which it hasn't yet. I know it's only a matter of time. I just remember last year it being a brutal. Chinese cleaver. A square bladed knife. Ugly, but powerful and easy to use. We'll see. First aid kit. No, there's anything else in here. No, okay. Like I say, I don't remember this at all, really. It was basically all new to me. Okay, we're out on the street now. A bit fresh to say the least. Oh wow. Um Yes, yeah, so we don't actually have a specific goal at the minute. Well I guess obviously if this is just before she met James, uh, our goal is to head to the park. I I assume. You can't go that way, okay. Oh, okay. So we've got enemies, but because she doesn't have a radio, so she can't hear the uh, static from them. Oh, what's that? Oh, another health drink just on the uh, truck there. Oh, we're heading to the hospital, have we? Uh, there's nothing for me to do here. I'll tell us no then. Okay. Get fucked, buddy. So you're not going to waste my ammo on these. Uh, hello there, uh, Lionheart. How you doing? What's going on? Are you well? It's the PS2 version. I have the PS2 disc, but it is it is ran through my PC. My PS2 is not it's not that well, unfortunately. It is it is liable to scratch up and destroy my discs if I uh What's she looking at there? Looking at something, right? Oh yeah, cool, cool. Bullets there on that car. Nice. Um but yes, it is it is a uh, an actual physical disc, it's just uh in my PC. But how are you doing there, Lionheart? Welcome in. I assume you're a fan of the game. Okay, so I don't actually know where I'm supposed to be going and what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, I just guess we just keep running down the streets, right? Until we find something. Just keep an eye out if there's any items just hanging around. Which there, there may be. 
No doubt we'll I'll have to I don't need to fight enemies out on the street, that's just a waste, but who knows I might need to in some uh interiors and fight. You know what, uh, Lionheart? Of the eight main Silent Hills, the room is the only one I've not actually completed. I, uh, I got, v I got pretty far into it, but I don't know, I don't know why I got confused or I just had like a bad run where I just like used up all my items or something, and I never got around to finishing it. But yeah, it's, it is definitely interesting. I'd, I would very much be excited to get back to it at some point, and it is actually on our list, but it's uh, a little bit lower down. So we're we'll going to be doing Silent Hill 3 relatively soon. Not our next game, but the game after. Um, and uh, 4, we will be having a look at, I don't know, 3, 4, 5 months from now. Some, I guess. It's based on our backlog. But yeah, that's arguably the one I'm most intrigued about for myself. Just because I... Do not remember it at all. Um, you know can we just run over, the, over here onto the other side of town? And should I be doing that? Or should I be running up the street here? It looks like I can just run right through there, right? Interesting. Let me remember that. I'm going to vibe. That's where I'm supposed to go. So let me uh, just keep having a little look around so I can get any more items on the street. I could be wrong though. But yeah, I feel it's uh, underrated. Can I sit here? What I remember of it. Oh, thank you, Lionheart. I appreciate that. Yeah, and, it, and it's probably of the eight games. Although some of them I don't remember the uh, that well. It's probably the one I remember the least about. I do remember struggling with it when I tried to play it. I, I, I think it, like, tried to make things a bit more... It's got some weird... Um, uh, gameplay mechanics that were not seen in the first three games. Uh, and it's, um, I feel it would be more, far more survival. Like, like, you start at the beginning of the game and you like, don't have any guns or anything. You try to use melee weapons to try and kill things. <laughs> it could just be I was young and shit. I don't know. Not them. Now I'm just old and shit. I don't know. <laughs> we, sh we shall see. We shall see when we get to it. I'm, I'm excited. Am I just running up? Run, have I just run all the way up here for no reason? I, it's possible. Where are we at? <laughs> so, would you say it's your favourite uh, Lionheart for for that reason? Nah. Uh, uh, how, you, how you doing there, uh, uh, Del uh, Del Mamundo? Del Mamundo. How's it going, my friend? Welcome in. Yeah, it's, uh, we were talking about it. It's fucking James is running. The legs aren't too bad, but it's the the arms. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can't really beat Harry's, though. <laughs> Harry's is, I mean, <laughs> fuck it now. Uh, what gets me even more than his run, you know, his little, uh, hop, hop backwards. <laughs> fuck it, go, uh, if anyone doesn't know that, go look that up. Probably find it on YouTube. Just just try to search like Harry Mason jump backwards or, or something like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's been through a lot, all right? It's, <laughs> it's, it's not his fault, all right? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's in pain so, or something, to say the least. Wait, what's she looking at? I feel like she she's looking at an enemy that's wandering over there. Oh, no, look, there's shit in the back of there. Fucking no, let's not miss that. Okay, so it's worth coming down here for this, then, I assume. Okay. 
But yeah, I I uh, I love Silent Hill One. A lot of people kind of skip over it because it's like one generation older than, 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 than a lot of the series. But it's my personal favourite. I think maybe some of that is just because um. Uh, maybe some of that because it's the first game I played in the series, and I was maybe some like nostalgia, nostalgia glasses on. But I don't know. I feel because it's the start of the main story, you know. Whereas something like this is just like a standalone story within the uh, within the setting. Oh yeah, okay, cool, cool. It's motherfuckers. Oh, Maria, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's probably gonna be worth it. Okay. So that's all blocked off. I guess... I guess take a run down Cat Street here. I guess we'll do that. It's probably taking that one, taking that one hit to get those bullets. There, it's prob probably going to be worth it. God, of course you can't see a fucking thing in these graphics, so it's fine. It's fine now. I'm kind of used to it. <laughs> main main thing to look for is the characters' like head movement, which is they turn their head to look at stuff that they can see and cannot. Seeing something across the street there. We'll do it. We're at the end of the street. That's what, that's fine. Run down, back down the other side. Yeah, she's looking at something there. Oh fuck yeah, she is. Nice. Okay. You can get fucked. Um, no, I'm not wasting my bullets right now in the open. Hmm. So I, I'm already uh, familiar with the, uh, uh, the series, uh, Delma, but uh, there might be f folks here who are not. So I appreciate you being conscious of the spoilers there. Yeah, I um, I'm excited to look at three as well again because uh, there's an argument to be made that is like the most important game to the overall uh, lore of, of the series. Um, yeah, and I remember it kind of <sighs> being very si gameplay wise being very similar to two, but kind of like r ramping up the uh, kind of the action and the uh, immersion a little bit. But there's a lot, there's a lot more darkness and a lot more going on, whereas uh, two feels a lot kind of just generally foggy. If that makes sense. I don't know. I don't have time. Okay, cool. We've still got plenty of we had time to finish this up today. I don't know if we've got we'll have enough time to start our next game, but we'll see. Okay, so I think we're just heading over to the other side of town here. Or not? Okay. So what the fuck have I missed then? Um. Up by the Blue Creek apartment. That's that's not blocked off. That's locked apparently. <coughs> Not that I have a key or anything, but I don't know. Uh, Maria seems to just carry random keys on her, regardless, even if they're not in her inventory. Um, yeah, let me let me try back up there then. Oh, this way, this way. Oh, 
This is, this is just like a random house. Oh, wait, hang on. I don't know if that looks a bit sus where it's zooming in there. Let me see where the fucking doors are on these houses. I feel like we are going inside at some point, but maybe there's just a random house I need to go in that I've not. I've not seen up until this point. Okay, a little bit further. Okay, so it's just blocked off. But is, is there a door? Okay, there is. Okay, so it's definitely locked, which definitely suggests there should be a key to find. Hmm, okay. Okay, let me, uh, I guess I'll just look at these, um, okay, that's what, we got the, uh, random ammo there. I guess I'll look at the, uh, oh, okay, that looks kind of sus. Ah, aha, here we go. Don't have a map of this area, okay, someone's back garden, I guess. Oh jeez, just music kicking in. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we're in, in in someone's backyard, I guess, of like just north of the Blue Creek Apartments. Okay. Oh jeez. Dead. Yeah, we might be dead in a second. <laughs> Fuck these guys, right? Dive in this. Uh, here we go. This seems vaguely familiar. Okay, just dive into somebody's house. Okay. Cool, there we go, we've got a save point. Oh, nothing inside, too bad. <laughs> what? Too bad? Painting the flowers? Do you mean like some looking to jack some stuff or like survival supplies? What do you, you mean by that? Need some light or something. Oh dear, Maria, come on. Okay, cool, look at that. First aid kit. More bullets. Excellent. Uh, the fireplace is boarded off. Do not use, is written on it. Okay. Uh, just arrived dishes, nothing to do with me. Wow, imagine having a map of your house. It's a it's a pretty chunky old house. Though. The Baldwin house map. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've not I've forgotten all about this. Okay, cool. That's where we entrance or where we came in. That door's blocked off there. We're in the living room currently. Okay, fascinating. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember this. This could be interesting. Um No reason to use the phone call for help okay so i think that's everything in here let me just finish checking the other doors out in the hallway no it's just those two yeah okay so i guess we're heading out of the door in the living room there 
How much ammo do we have now? Just having to... Okay, yeah, oh my god, loads. Now oh, she's damaged already. After one hit. I think she'll be alright. Um, yeah, I'm sure I remember playing this before and, like, struggling with ammo, but maybe I didn't run around the streets and get collect stuff up there. So if we come across any enemies inside here, this house, I think it's probably worth trying to kill them. Okay, so we've got stairs going up and a storeroom door on our left here. It's so dark. It's a, it's a torch or something. Okay, we're going upstairs. Very well. Oh shit, more bullets. Fuck me. Okay, second floor. Is that another staircase next to it on a, in a different section? That's wild. Um. Okay. Okay, that is locked. Oh. Uh. Is somebody there? Open up. Hello? Hmm, okay, weird. <clears throat> Stop it. You're disturbing me. Yeah. Hello? <gasps> Thank God. I finally found somebody. Can you open the door? No. No. But why? Is it really necessary for me to answer all your tedious questions? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. This guy. <laughs> I want to be alone. Other people just irritate me. Uh. You're not gonna be like, excuse me, why are you d in my house? I just want to see another human face. Well, I'm not a human. Do you know uh -huh. what's happening in this town? There's no one here. Just monsters. Yes. I know. Okay. But, so what? Do so you think you want to stick together with other people, idiot? It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> no one here means there's no one to disturb me. Oh, okay. What's he doing? You want to be alone in this insane asylum? Yes, exactly. Alright. Give it up, Maria. He's just some weird guy. But how can you say that it's this town that's insane? Perhaps it's we who are insane. No. <clears throat> Both of us. Hopelessly insane. Maybe. Are you satisfied? Would you leave me alone? <laughs> My name is Maria. What's your name? I don't want to tell you my name. Go away. Ernest. Okay. Ernest. Hemingway? Obviously not. Baldwin. Ernest? <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, so he's in uh, the lounge there. And this is his house, presumably. Uh, and he just wants to be left alone. So be it, I guess. Oh. You trying to start some shit with me, buddy? <laughs> anyway, Akuma, pleasure to speak to you as always, buddy. You uh, you take care of yourself, and we'll uh, we'll speak to you soon. So.
so. <clears throat> Okay, now this is... Oh, is this just a balcony? This doesn't actually go anywhere. Weird. What? I got a whiteboard. Okay. Uh, white metal board with square holes punched into it. And the second floor uh, entrance hall. Huh. I'm curious. Oh, when the white breath is found, I shall dedicate this thing. O oh, spirit of the mist, grant us fortune eternal. Is written on the back. Well, okay. That's uh, enlightening. Uh, I just, I'm sure that won't respawn. I just want to check this door. I bet it's locked or blocked. Yeah. Cool. Health drink. And that door's locked there. Okay. So I guess we're going back to where we came and seeing if we can do anything with this item I found. Hmm. I'll speak to Ernest again. Ernest? Are you there? No, I guess not. Well, according to the map, there is a, an exit to that room, so maybe he's literally not in there at the moment. Um, oh, look, what the fuck? <laughs> I've got doors in the living room to the dining room and the hallway that I just didn't, hadn't even checked. Idiot. Okay, I guess this has worked out because we met Ernest and we got an item and we've checked off all the dead ends this way. I'm banging about down here. Oh, someone running around inside the house with us. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, oh, the fireplaces. Which, which was not supposed to open. Oh, shit. Okay. For some reason, there's a ladder in the fireplace leading up. Along the way, I can see something that looks like a hole. Mm, yes, but no, not quite at the moment. Because obviously, we, I guess that happens. That triggers after we speak to Ernest. Okay, that's broken. Okay. Um, so let me just take this door. That's locked. Okay, so I guess we are climbing up here. Interesting. Damn, 220. Bloody hell. The thing is, uh, Andy, once you start, you can, uh, you're can going to be going for the completion. <laughs> okay, there's some kind of in inside garden here. We're only about 800. <laughs> yes. I respect it, though. Yeah, the, I feel like the, the, the 360 generation, it kind of... It was most, like, uh, this, you know, PS3, 360. It's like the kind of most populous, or, I think, in terms of actual games. Or Red Board. Okay. Um, and I think some people got, have the impression that, oh, that, you know, that means that, you know, maybe a lot of those games are trash. I'm sure a lot of them are. When I look at my own collection, I'm like, oh, I've got to look at some of this junk. But um, I'm sure there's some actually hidden gems in there that I've just kind of not really got to yet. I feel it um, is somewhat un un underestimated. A blackboard. Okay. Okay, metal board with square holes there. Okay, that's got, um, I guess, when I examine them all. 
Okay, different configuration. So different color, different configuration of square holes, and a different symbol on it. When the dark grail is found. I shall de dedicate this thing. You, uh, you who deny death, grant us a t uh, fortune eternal. And the red one. Uh, when the crimson words are found, I shall dedicate this thing. Uh, are you gods deep in slumber? Fucking. Oh, great old ones. Uh, grant us fortune eternal. It ain't gonna do that. Then like, uh, um, what's this? A little fucking grave. A square depression in the center of the tombstone, and above that is a carefully carved epitaph. Uh, along with you died joy. All that remains is despair and a future of meaningless tomorrows. Wow. But I will never give up. One, to see your beautiful smile again. One, to beg the blessings of the gods. I wait for that day. When the boards cover all, uh, all, when the boards cover all, all sadness too will be covered. Until my dreams return to reality, I will have to swallow all the pain. It's key finally embedded in the stone beneath the depression. No matter how hard I try, I can't pull it out. We obviously need to slot the boards, or one of the boards on here. All three of them? Um, can they, do they stack up, do you think? Ah. Uh, okay, so you have to... Yeah, if you insert as is, that's no good. Or maybe it is. Let's go, uh... Okay. So they all just slot on top of each other. You just need to get the right configuration there. Um... <clears throat> okay, so we've got three from the top, put the from the right, and then two in the middle. Um. Okay, because that's not quite done the job there. Um. I guess it doesn't really uh matter what order you put them in, because you can turn them to any degrees. So just slotting one in, and then just trying to. Cover up as much as you can should allow us to get this done. So, um, let me go for the 180. In fact, that I think that should work. I believe that should work. So, if I just uh slot the uh the the uh black one on top of that as is. I think that should do, do it. Let me see. No. Why? That doesn't have a gap, though, in that corner there. I don't know why that's doing that. Okay, let's... Uh... Oh, it does have one in the bottom corner. Okay. I didn't, I didn't notice that. Um. <clears throat> mm. How much did you say it was looking at, uh, Andy? Yeah, it's good. Uh, Downpour is a good guy and a good Silent Hill game. Some people um, don't rate it, but I, I think it's pretty good. Um, it, can be, it can be a little bit awkward at the start of the game, but it's still pretty good. Um, okay, so you did have one in the, the bottom there, okay. I 
I guess I should, um, maybe it's easier if I do it in a different order, yeah. Um, I guess it doesn't necessarily matter. Yeah, now I know what to do. I should probably just look at them here and figure out what is the, the best order. Okay, so if I turn to that, the black one, 180. So it's... That would have the middle, top left one. The one in the middle and the one in the bottom left there would still be uncovered. Um... Right, so I think any configuration with the red and the white one would still not work in that regard. Um, I turn it that way. <clears throat> Let's do me do some experimentation now. Not seeing exactly the right way to do it there. Come on, Wolf, you can tell me what the answer is. You're over 9,000. So you should be able to tell me the answer to this. Come on, bro. <laughs> um, uh, 45 quid. Uh, damn. I, I really like it. I think it's really good. Um, but, you know, yeah, it's not the... Uh, It's not cons, you know. I think the general gist is people are not really into it. Let me put that on there. Okay, so we've just got to cover those two. Surely I can do that with the black one, right? Let me have a look. Oh, yeah. I just put the black one in as is, and that should be fine. Right? I think. Yeah, there we go. And the three boards overlap. The key, the key came free. Excellent. Perfect. Uh, Acacia key. Interesting. But yeah, so the, you're in this weird territory now, uh, Andy, where you're like, okay, well, you've heard the game's not very good, but you still want to get it for the sake of the collection, which is, you're exactly where I were. I was uh, several years ago. Um, but no, I mean, I, I personally think it's good. Um, uh, acacia flower found embedded in the stone slab. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not sure exactly what door this will be for, but. That's, it's got to be one of them, isn't it? Right. So potential doors could be the one there, right there. Or uh, if we go upstairs, we've got the one into the lounge or the corridor there or the one that's round to that side. <coughs> so I guess I'll um, quickly try this. Nope, not that one. I think I want to insta dice, so I'm not going to worry about saving it. Okay, so I guess we're going back upstairs. Yeah, yeah, definitely, and that's the thing, you're paying that much money, I'm surprised. Fuck, maybe I should, actually, I mean, I can't sell my Silent Hill games, but maybe I should look at my, uh, my own collection and be like, shit, should I, is any of this worth anything? Okay, that's locked. Guess we can't speak to Ernest anymore, so it's got to be one Ernest. back around the, on the balcony. Are you there? He's not. No, I guess not. Right, okay.
So hopefully, it's this door just across here. Uh, otherwise, I'm out of uh, ideas. Okay, piano room in front of us, kids room. Uh, and then stairs going down. Into another corridor, okay. No piano room for us. Imagine having a, a, a piano room in your house. This room right here is for the piano. This calendar is from 10 years ago. 10 years ago, November. Okay. Stuffed animals are lined up. Dollars sitting on the chair. Small bed for a child. Matches. I guess we're going to burn something, I guess. A shelf of fairy tales and other children's literature. I say. I've sure never read this, but somehow it seems familiar. Okay. Uh, only two or three matches are left. Well, is it two or is it three? Come on. Come on. <laughs> is there any, how many matches you've got? A two or three? Please, Louise. Okay, is that just down into the balcony? A different balcony? I'm not sure. Oh, we're going upstairs. Oh, Come no, she fell out the window! Don't move her! What happened? What? I don't think there's any people actually up here, but I think that's like resid that's essentially ghost voices or something. Get away from the window. Uh, what what happened? Something something something. The fuck? Okay, I guess I'm using the matches on the candle. Seems reasonable. Um, how did it teleport us over here? <laughs> the fuck? It kind of provides some light. Oh, no, she obviously picked up and moved it there. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck are you doing? A pile of junk from the... Uh, it's a pile of junk from the spider web. Do spider webs produce a lot of junk? <laughs> I mean, that looks like something under there. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, something below the chair. Is this a birthday card? To my dearest daddy, happy birthday from Amy Baldwin. I wonder if, with the grave upstairs, whether his daughter died. That's why he wants, he's just in abject depression. Uh, it's a pile of junk from the spider web. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. We that pesky spider web. Look at all his junk he's left around. <laughs> Okay, so I guess it was just to... Okay, I don't need to look at the map. I guess it was just to uh, get that birthday card. Uh, birthday card and present from Amy. Contents unknown. Obviously. So do we maybe take this to Ernest and be like, Hey, I've got a, a birthday present for you from your dead daughter. And he'll be like, No! Give it. Give it? Oh, you want me to give it to your dad? Amy. To my daddy. Okay. No, no worries. Amy's a ghost there. You know. I guess we can't get that way. Okay. Oh, shizzle. Shizzle me nizzle. Okay, I got around it. I swear. Oh, fuck you, money. Get wrecked. Anyway. Oh, we can just 
go in the room now. Okay. Health drinks. Damn. Well, he ain't here, is he? Let's just see the card. There's a book here. It looks like a plant encyclopedia. Acacia. The genus of evergreen trees of the mimosa tribe of the pea family. Uh, the tiny flowers tribe. Mimosa tribe of the pea family. I guess genus and fam and family, but tribe? Is that used to describe plant types? Its tiny flowers are yellow or white and growing clusters. Common varieties include the gum tree. The acacia tree is a potent symbol of in many religions across the world. In Christianity, it represents eternal life and more uh, and morality. In ancient Egypt, it represented purity and rebirth. In ancient Babylonia, it was thought of as the tree of the godless Ishtar. Godless, goddess, Ishtar, fuck my life, uh, and was a symbol of life. It was also a holy tree to the ancient Jews who built the sacred Ark of the Covenant from it, uh, and for whom it signified a peaceful death and a release from grief. So hence, this is why uh, Ernest has been reading about it. Uh, something interesting aside or above the fireplace? My first aid kit. Some bugs running around. That's sound good. Uh. So it'll stamp, stamp the bug I can't see. Okay, that door's on now unlocked. That's good. Okay, I guess I'll check the guest rooms first. Oh, you motherfucker. Downstairs we go. Oh shit, that doesn't sound good. Might actually just drink one of those, I've got so many. Why it got, suddenly got so scary, I'm not sure, but... Okay, I guess it's heading down into that little hallway there. If only I could see. <laughs> right. Pantry. Yes, my favorite place. Can't go in there. Okay, free key, super long corridor. Let me... Just go check the other door. Oh, what the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? I'm gonna stay dead, are you? Jeez. Fucking hell, it got me. I'm not the guy. And it's locked anyway. What a waste of ammo. Never mind, day. Okay, good good to check these things. I bet we're heading down the corridor. I'm going to try the main kitchen and it won't be anything. Look at that. Who'd have thunk it? Okay, cool. We've got some replacement bullets there. Uh, 
there's a mop and a bucket here. I don't really feel like cleaning anyway. <laughs> My God. Okay, health drink. Health drink. Revolver bullets. Nice. <clears throat> Okay, into the dining room. Let me try this door. Okay. Go oh, shit. Oh, fuck that. Enough for now. I don't see a fucking thing, mate. Got another one somewhere. Oh my god. Sun. Cleared him out. Jeez Louise, what the fuck? Or the uh, actual, actual. Getting too many doors that are actually opening for us. <laughs> okay, we're in the, the study now. There's a clock here, but it looks like it's not running anymore. That won't, This won't do me any good. <laughs> The books on the shelf, no, it looks very interesting. Shut up, all books are interesting to some degree. City Maria. <clears throat> Lost memories. I have the strongest trust, you may even call it faith, in the miracle called Resurrection of the Dead. Upon the hill where the light descended, the beast intoned his song. With words of blood, drops of mist, and the vessel of night, the grave became an open field. The people wept in fear and joy at the reunion. But my faith in the salvation of Zachil Parba did not waver. Zachil Parba. Okay, that doesn't sound like somebody you want to be resurrecting. Uh, <laughs> it, is also, it is also spoken of in the ancient legends. The original worshippers did not believe that death was the end but that it was simply the path by which the deceased returned to nature. They also believed the process was reversible. There's something printed towards the bottom of the page. Did Ernest write this? What could it mean? Blood equals red, mist equals white, night equals black. No shit. Okay. Okay. Wait. We'll see. Do you know a little girl named Amy? Of course, this is daughter. Isn't it? Why do you ask me that? She told me to give you this present. This letter. To my dearest daddy. It's from a girl named Amy Baldwin. Your daddy? Yes. Where'd you find that? Up in the attic. Oh. What a fool. Now. It's too late. I finally understand why. <laughs> why she was there. Why she was holding that empty envelope which she... When she fell. Because she felt her death out of an attic window. Ernest, 
Amy. She isn't... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I reminded you. No need to apologize. You didn't remind me. I've never forgotten. Maria? Some things we forget, and some things we can never forget. Indeed. It's funny. I'm not sure which one is sadder. It's been ten years, but I still... Ernest, I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, it's, it's fine. Maria, that letter. I'll leave it here. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> Maria? So, you must be... That's why. That's why you could see me. Huh? So perhaps that means that I can hope for a miracle as well. What do you mean? Obviously, sorry. Um, oh, sorry, it's in the cutscene. Um, in the apartment oh. next door, there's a bottle containing a white liquid. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know it's in there somewhere. I must have it. You... want me to get it for you? Please. Okay. Why don't you just get it yourself? He can't, he's, he's dead, he's a ghost. If I could, believe me, I would. But I... White? I'll open the stairway door. Ernest, do you really believe it will work? I don't know. Well, that's okay. I don't mind fighting for an impossible cause. Anyway, it beats just giving up and doing nothing. Maria, thank you. Image presents of Father Ernest from the birthday card. I think I'll leave this here. Right, okay, so... <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, ten years ago, his his uh, young daughter died in a tragic accident. Never got over it to the point where he was researching methods to resurrect her, and he believes it is possible. Um, but I think the the gist of this is that Ernest himself has already died. But I guess we're going along with uh, like him hinting. He's like, oh, you must be. Oh, that's why you can see me. She herself is not a, a real person. Essentially, uh, yo, Slotty, how you doing? Um, ah, you never seen this before. So, this is uh, they call it a bonus scenario, Slotty, from um, the uh, director's cut of the game. Uh, it's uh, you just play as Maria, which I assume this will culminate when we get to the end of this section with her meeting James for the first time. I think I believe that is how it goes down. Um, but I ain't doing today, Slotty. Are you well? Uh, okay. Okay, so what about a, a door there I didn't check? Um, I don't know. Um, exactly where I should be going. Okay, well, I've seen all that way. Okay, so we've got stairs going up. Ah, 
cool. Now it's unlocked. Cool. Can you enter the dining room? I don't know if we'll, we'll find anything in here. Oh, it's the... We're already in the... Oh, no, it's not the dining room. It's the living room. Okay, we're not going to unlock the door. Okay, sorry, I need to... Okay, this door. There's so many doors bunched together. Okay, so I can't go through there. So let me uh, just check this way. Yeah, okay, back in the service room and just check if I can get into that uh, dining room. Probably not, I'm guessing. No, okay, cool. So I guess I'm, um... <clears throat> Excuse me. So I've got the... Stair there to get to. Uh... I don't know what... Oh, maybe that goes down to the basement. Assuming we can get there. But then we've got the stairs in the hallway, but that's just taking us up to somewhere where we'd already... gone to, I guess. Uh, hmm. But then again, he's he's told us to go out. He said we've got to head into the apartment building. Oh, okay. The fact there's a safe point there seems a little sus. Um, so maybe we have to head outside. Let me try this door first. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, buddy. Um, hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna. We got another hour and a half of today's stream, but oh shit! Okay, this looks sus. But I'm sure we'll have wrapped this up before we, we get to that point. Okay, not that sus. Yes. Oh, this music. Huh? Some kind of plate on the floor. Amy Baldwin. She was loved too much by God. Seven years was not enough time. Yes. Bug. I don't know if they're damaging me or I'm damaging them, honestly. Always oh, bullets on these little things. I wonder if this has taken us over to the apartment. Yeah. Know, all sorts of the wrong things here. <coughs> Excuse me. No, yeah, they were damaging me, but whatever. That's what health drinks are for. Oh, shit. <laughs> Keep out of the haunted mansion. Well, it's my favorite place. I like the haunted mansion. <laughs> of course, it's haunted because. Uh... Okay, we're in Blue Creek Apartments now. It's haunted because obviously fucking Ernest is a ghost. the worst. Okay, I guess that's where I entered from. Alright, first aid kit, a health drink. Safe point.
the white liquid. Oh, I've got, I've got what he wanted. Okay. And so the uh, the coin puzzle. Now, just out of curiosity, I'm sure these are all blocked. Oh, what the? That's, oh, a different exit, okay. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. could have without killing those guys um again for curiosity's sake hmm It's just a freaking... Oh, shit. Okay. So, that's it. There's something worthwhile in here, then, if there's two of these. Alright. You think? It's a safe, but I don't know how to open it. This is not true, Maria. I know how. All you have to do is you stuff your... Oh, shit. Just need to stuff your hand down the toilet. What are you gonna do? You don't mind doing that, right? Uh, see the problem next door through the window. Is that right, genius? <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, James says the same thing, but then James is like, <laughs> so Maria's like, oh my god, that is disgusting. Never mind. James is like, oh, gross. I wonder what would happen if I put my hand in there. <laughs> okay, so I just wasted ammo coming in now. I think I have, unfortunately. Never mind. I guess it was worth having a, a look. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, and this is where uh, James fights Pyramid Head for the first time. she can't get out this way. This should take me to the alley that runs to the park. But first, I'd better take care of my promise to Ernest. Okay, so after we've delivered this, this is, we come back this way to exit. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Let's know where I'm going. That's, and hence, this is why the place was all filled with these enemies, because... It wasn't, there was a specific reason to come here. At least I know. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I shouldn't be able to get up here. Nope.
Just let me just check the other door on the other side. No, yeah, because I, I checked all the doors down here, didn't I? I'm sure I did, yeah. Okay. So at least I know where to... So I, I come back this way, and then I uh, just go to the door, go up the stairs, and then to the door at the end. Yeah, I wonder if uh, this was vandalised and spray-painted before the town went crazy, right? Before the darkness, because of what happened here. So I assume, obviously, he had this... Uh, the, it became known as the Haunted Mansion, because uh, a little girl had died tragically, and then her dad had probably, probably killed himself, I'm guessing. <laughs> Just kind of fucked up, but that's, that's uh, something healthier, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ, my man. <laughs> you see a wiggle in there? That's too nice. Oh, damn it. Fucking hell, mate. I don't think I can... Can't get around the fuckers. Just run for it, love. Try to. Oh my god. We're dead in a second. Oh, fuck me, we are. It's been a hot minute since I've saved it. All of them. Bastards. Absolute bastards. Gotta got to call that. <clears throat> right. Yeah, that, that was the map. Of course you have the map. We're not we're wrecking this house, aren't we? I swear to God. Right, okay. Okay, cool. Just back through to the study, I guess. Give me this weird liquid for his ritual. I mean, if a ghost wants to try and resurrect another ghost, it's not for me to judge, is it? Especially as we don't, we are basically a ghost ourselves anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. Nope. That's the only item I couldn't get myself. By the time I found out about it, I could no longer leave this house. <clears throat> so long. Yes, but will... Maria, the gods are here. Yeah, not the gods you, you know won't lie. You were born in this town. I'm not sure God is the right word. Right. Do you believe in fate? Not really. That's fine then. No, that's fine then. <laughs> Ernest, can I open this? This is a dead end. There's nothing beyond here. I know. <laughs> so... What if I had said I believed in fate? 
That James. He's a bad man. Yeah. What the fuck, Ernest? You didn't get to decide that. James. He's a bad man, that James. I was assuming he's a bad man as opposed to a bad man. Who are you? Ernest, you don't get to decide that. looking for the you that isn't you uh. because he's kind do you know something yes Maria you're anyway uh. that's just what you think you don't really know anything uh. that's fine okay And of course, there's nobody there. He took in the, the price on the birthday card. But he is not there. <clears throat> oh, okay. The present was some gloves. Interesting. So I guess at this point, Maria's come to the understanding of who and what she is. Which is kind of tragic, because she's only existed, like, a few hours. She literally didn't exist until a few hours ago, but... In her own sense of self, she is a real, in you know, conscious, unique entity. But she's like... Yeah, I guess so she ditches the gun. And she knows on some level she only exists to cater to James, in essence. So how do you feel about that? Do you know what I mean? It's not probably not good. It's so loud in the music. <laughs> Mary? Nope. No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? My name is Maria. Indeed. I'll just step out for a minute, I'll be all right.
Right, sorry about that. <clears throat> Just thought I'd get that wrapped up. That worked out nicely. There you go. So, normal two saves an hour takes no distance. Too many items, but that's fine. Uh, still killed 25 enemies, isn't it? No, no rank for anything. I need to save this necessarily, but... Habit. Okay, so it's a nice little add-on. When I heard about that, uh, after the fact, I was, cause I was so obsessed with Silent Hill. I bought everything Silent Hill. I bought the fucking comics, which were mm, not so great. Uh... <laughs> Uh, the soundtracks, which were amazing. Uh, you, you name it. I was, like, trying to hunt it down. Um, so, uh, let me... Uh, jump us over here. Yeah, Slotty, yeah. For sure. M the music in the Sun Hill games is just fucking amazing. Um, what's this? <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's amazing. So, yeah, it doesn't really tie in too much, apart from, of course, it is confirmed that Maria is a, essentially a ghost. If you, uh, it's not hard to put a better uh, term on it, but you see the fact that she is a living, thinking, feeling individual, which is kind of fucked up, if you think about it. She only exists because she was created out of james the psyche but it doesn't mean she doesn't feel fear or pain um but yeah good to get a little bit of insight in her there sorry um <clears throat> um um Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> there is, uh... Uh... Freaking, uh... <laughs> in the conflux, sorry, there's, uh... People getting harassed by fucking graphic artists. <clears> hmm. <throat> Okay, that's all right. I'll just have to. Whenever I see a, a notification on Discord, I've got to fucking get rid of it. And uh, just look at, look at it. I think I've looked at it. I've checked that off. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you know, I'm dying over it. But anyway, guys, that was uh, Silent Hill 2. Uh, absolute classic. Um, right. Housekeeping. Let me give uh, Wolf his flex he, did, he redeemed earlier. Mm -mm -mm. We out, Wolf. 75th. Bro! 75 flexes. That's insane. Um, thank you, sir. Okay, and then we can... Uh, where's my games list here? There we go. Let's uh, go ahead and mark off Silent Hill 2 as completed. Finally. And it took us, <laughs> and it took us two years. Mm, uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Um. Yeah, uh, I guess it's the director's cut of the game, isn't it? So I'll, I'll put that there. This is a little reminder. Uh, so yeah. Um, now we technically all we have an hour left of stream, but I don't feel it's a uh, enough to. Uh, worry about uh. Starting, I don't think it's enough time to get into our next game. Basically, so we'll just finish it, wrap up early. It's a short one today, guys. That's just the way it worked out. Um, but we will come back tomorrow. We're starting our next game, uh, as voted for by our producers, uh, which is Mass Effect 2. Um, and if anyone knows that, or uh, 
cares one way or another about that. I, for myself, am very excited. I'm, I've never played it. Uh, I only recently played uh, on stream a few months ago Mass Effect 1, uh, which I thought it was a great game. I enjoyed it immensely. So I'm very excited to look at the second one. Those of you who are here and you like have been enjoying the Silent Hill Jam, uh, it seems likely, I can't guarantee, but it seems very likely we will be on Silent Hill 3 as soon as we finish with Mass Effect 2. Um, but uh, we, we, we shall see. Um, uh, Red Mage, always an honor. Uh, thank you, Andy. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm excited for both of those games. Uh, we shall, uh, let me get rid of that. But yeah, we shall, uh, we'll see. I guess there's not too much I need to look up on that. Oh, sorry. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Games list. There we go. That's Mark off Silent Hill 2. Done. yeah so yeah so we were set to do Silent Hill 3 Fusion uh, had some votes left and he was like oh let me bring Mass Effect up to the top because he's a massive fan of the series um he still does have some votes so it could be possible if he is so inclined he could do the same thing for Mass Effect 3 so it could be we could be playing both Mass Effect 2 and 3 back to back I don't know that's it's, it's his privilege it's entirely up to him he's earned those votes um so we'll see what he does with those but at the moment, Mass Effect 2 followed by Silent Hill 3. Followed by Final Fantasy 7 uh, Remake Intergrade. That was going to be interesting. Um, and various other things we shall see. Um, but uh, we shall uh, we'll see how it goes. Right, yeah, got a, got a lot of different stuff on there. I estimated like six to eight or nine months, but I don't know it's actually that that long, that many games. Some of them, I guess, are kind of long, but maybe some of them are not so long. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you greatly. Uh, I hope you uh, got something out of Sun Hill too, even if it's not your jam. I enjoyed it immensely. Um, so do a little, a little thank you to uh, Green Day for real. Would a follow, thank you. I also, yeah, I enjoy a bit of Green Day. Uh, and uh, 89 uh, Lionheart, thank you, sir, for the follow. Appreciate it. Um, Ice Lot, are you, fa are you a fan of Mass Effect? <clears throat> um, yeah, I am for very different reasons, but I'm uh, looking, yeah, looking forward to both. Uh, we'll do, we'll do Wolf, yeah. So, um, yeah, sorry we're ending early today, guys. Uh, just it's, it feels that to start a game like Mass Effect 2 uh when we've only got like one hour left of the stream it's like we'll i'll barely get through the opening cutscene and then talk for like 40 minutes and then we'll be done so <laughs> let's just do that tomorrow um but it's been an absolute pleasure as always guys um enjoy the rest of your evenings or days um take care of yourselves have fun whatever you choose to do the rest of your day uh and i'll see you at some point tomorrow it'll be wednesday won't it it will be wednesday um so until then guys have a good have a good one and uh i'll see you soon